that the camera? That's camera B. Where's camera A? Oh. That's camera A. Look at how professional you are. Hi, everybody. It's James Bartolet, and welcome once again to our special year-end wrap-up of Inside the Industry. Woo-hoo. 2003, it's been a great year. Whoa. Yeah, but so good year over, and we are all about 2024. I agree. I yeah. agree. Whenever, like, after Christmas, before New Year, it's, like, just this kind of, like, purgatory. You're not, you know, it's like the holidays are over. You're just like, come on, let's do it, let's do it. But this is the last show of the year. And how the could last, we yeah. not be here with our wonderful James Bartley, so who I love I so, love so much. And, and I love you both, girls. And we My love BFFs. you. And I got to tell you, it's Christy so Canyon, cute. Crystal Rush. And Annie Cruz is on her way in. Um, We have got so much to talk about. Um, There's a lot of stuff in the news. There's what you want to, what you got to watch over at the mall.sexy. Weird sex facts. And Christy has got birthdays to announce tonight. I saw one of them is a love of mine, Tia Bella. Oh, Tia, okay. I, I yeah. only pick, you know, it's from last Monday, well, this Monday, you know, through yeah. Sunday, through the end of the year, the birthdays. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure there's people, there are people up there that are really popular. I just don't know. So I'm just selfish and I pick the ones that I know that I have fucked or that I want to fuck. Yeah, we all have priority. Yes. Speaking of, of people <laughs> that <laughs> fucked, did you guys know that... Our lovely Christy Canyon just did a scene with Dread. I did. Ouch. Wow. Can I tell you, he is one of my favorite people. Not just to fuck. That thing is huge. I've never How huge is it? Bigger than anything my <laughs> pussy is. Have you fucked him? <laughs> no. He's, but as a person, Dread, I know you're watching. I think you <laughs> tweeted that you're in Florida, but you're like, wait, James Bartley and the girls are going to be you are a gentleman. You and you know what's funny is I haven't done a scene in like twenty years. I mean, I do stuff with Joanna Angel or Ginger Lynn or Kimmy, Co- like I, the girls. This is the first guy, and really, yeah, yes. Anyway, so wow. when I leave, okay. I come home and I say to Ginger, "Oh my God, he was so cute, right?" And we're all curled up in bed. I'm like, "His fucking cock is beautiful." I licked his ass. He, blah, blah, you know, I'm going on about what we did, and then I was like, "Should I text him?" Oh, and she's like. <laughs> It's porn dick, Christy. You don't... Remember, that's the beauty of porn sex. You don't have to text them. How you do... So after we fucked, I haven't even heard from him. But brought back But that's the way it should be. You and come in, you do yes. your job. It's not a love connection. No, it's not. But it was lust. He's really fucking... He's a gentleman. He... Like, he made it look like it was rough, but it wasn't. It was soft. I mean, not soft penis. <laughs> but he was gentle, gentle going in there. He yeah. is a Prince, gentle. Prince Yeshua does the same thing. Makes it look like he's just plummeting. Yeah. And he's not. Stop open up about our trips, uh, like chicks and trips and all that stuff. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Everything hard and deep. Stop deleting what I'm doing. I pounded my pussy and tore it up. No, it didn't. It didn't. But can I, uh, can I just tell you, and what? I have been around this business for quite a few decades, right? I mm-hmm. thought I've seen it all. Guess what kind of lube we used. I didn't even know that they made it. Boy butter. No. <laughs> Fist lube. Fist lube? That's yes. what it's called? It's called, and there's a fist on the black jar, and it's like in blue fist lube. And I'm like, oh my God. And then he, his dick comes out, I'm like, get more. <laughs> I need more. <laughs> it was like, but it was like, I just felt like a schoolgirl. It was so rebellious. And I have to say, Porn family sometimes is better than your own family. <laughs> like, I feel like porn has always been there. If that mm-hmm. makes sense. I, I love this business. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here 39 years That's later. True. And I was actually going to fuck Dread a year ago. And then, like, Monkey Pox came up. And I'm like, Dread, I love Monkey you. Pox? Remember Monkey Pox last year? Oh, shit. That's remember? right. And I remember calling... Do you remember Monkey Pox? Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard all about this, but uh, I'm, not, like, I'm not that friendly. I'm staying away of all that shit. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, Dread, you're so fucking hot, but I never caught anything, and I don't want to start at this stage in my life. You know? And then a year went by, and I called him you know, a month ago. I'm like, do you still want to fuck me on film? He's like, okay, I'm open in three days. Let's go get tested. 
happen. <laughs> you, I think you did it so I wouldn't change my mind again. <laughs> oh, that's a, you bring up a great point there. Speaking of testing, I am the brand ambassador now for uh, Sage Health. They're located on Victory Boulevard right near Van Nuys. Uh, you can look them up online, sagehealth.com. Go in there and get tested and use the promo code SAGEINSIDE20 and you get $20 off. Oh, your you know, I, 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 can, I can give little ads on to your promotion. Like right now, like right like before like I got here, like I was exactly there. Wow. At Sage? Yes, I was exactly at Sage. It's, it's pretty easy to find. Did you use my promo uh, code? No, I, I forget about it. Absolutely. I will use it next time. Oh, so my God. But it's so wonderful. They're open seven days a week. And so it's okay. like, you know, it's pretty, co- it's pretty convenient. They eight, have like eight a in the morning till eight at night. So that you don't have any excuse for not getting your right, testing right, right. done and in time. And then you get it. I got mine the next day. It was kind of fun, though. Dred and I go and we're like walking in hand in hand. I, where I, I'm not going to say. I forget where we went. And... I like. I had to do a pee test and a throat and blood. So let me tell you, viewers out there, they care. It's a different than the '90s, where they were like, they didn't really, you no. know, there wasn't any protocol per se. I think you went once a month. It is fucking dialed in now. I was extremely impressed by the professionalism um, and the fast results I, we got them the next day. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't know about you, but like. When you open them, you're like, you get a little scared. Like, maybe I didn't know any. Of course, I was fine, and we fucked the day after that. But it's a weird feeling to, like, open up a test. Do you get that? Yes, it's every time. Like, you know, every time. Even month. if you know what, like, you yes. are right, it's yes. still, like, you know, like, this little, like, you know, kind of, like, tempt, tempting or something. You're like, ah! Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? <laughs> but, you know, but it was, like, the throat, ugh, the ass. The, you, they fucking You did the throat you. and the ass? Yes. Why? You only have to know. do one. That's a problem. Right? You, know, you know, just wanted something in your ass. Not a Q-tip. <laughs> not a Q-tip and not dread. Pussy was <laughs> enough. You know. But it was so much fun. It was so much fun. So who knows what the next year will bring. I just got a fucking wild hair up my ass. You got more than that. <laughs> I don't have a lot of hair. I got a wax. <laughs> have you ever done an anal scene? Only with a dildo. Okay. Only with it. I'm not, but you know what? Here's the thing. I don't like it in my personal life. Ah. I got beautiful boobies that you could do. I've got great manicured fingernails and hands. I've got uh, a mouth and a gorgeous <laughs> pussy with fur on it. Okay? Ah. If those don't appease you, then uh, you know, I'm definitely the wrong girl for you. Yeah. And yeah. let me tell you, no one's ever kicked me out because I wouldn't let them in my rear end. <laughs> Yes, I was yes, just going to ask yes, you, Yes, I'm doing anal and like, uh, how say, like for, for, as for porn, as for our industry, it's kind of like, you know, I even like to see my porn video, like, with anal much right, more right. than, like, regular, like, you know, like, classic sex, because I don't know, like, there is something more about, like, wild nature. Yeah, or, like, yeah. Stuff, like, like yeah. You know, little, little bit more up, but, like, you know, I know, like, I'm still in control, and she's <laughs> like, yes. So, as what's about the real life, you know, yes, like, I can agree with you, like, yeah, I have so many features, and I'm like, come on, let my ass alone. Like, because, like, you know, yeah, maybe, like, honey, I want to give you a surprise, but I don't want to, like, you know, waste, like, my day to, like, get the surprise ready that way. (laughs) And, like, yeah, like, it's maybe okay, but it's, like, not something, you know, I will definitely need to enjoy my life. Because sometimes we can just, like, you know, like, dirty talk about some our fantasies and already, like, you know, we're going to be satisfied. So why do I need to, why do I need to bother my butt? (laughs) You know, if I'm drunk... Uh, you know, then uh, and they're small enough. I'll be like, okay, stick it to mine. You know, but it's not something that I do a lot. Don't you love inside the industry? You're getting the no. down and dirty details. Mm-hmm. So th- now, what about you? Is your ass off limits too? I don't do anything <laughs> in my butt. I have a hard time passing a big stool. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have a bidet. Okay, what's our number? Eight one eight. Eight one eight. Two three one two five eight zero. That's eight one eight two three one two five eight zero. And we are taking your calls. And we're we taking live. your calls. And it's I know I tweeted it out earlier, and a few people tweeted back. It's not Wednesday, and I'm like, it's a special show. It's a special end of the year show. Up. Happy New Year. Hence this. Here we go. Happy New Year. And I wish you could see James's house. He has Christmas decorations everywhere. And Hanukkah and lights. Yeah. And I made homemade chili that we're going to have tonight. Pork chops smothered in 
peaches. Mango. Mm, mangoes peaches. and peaches. Oh, God. Yes. He's the best cook. And you know, Thank since I've you. been coming on and off of your show, where's the fucking cookbook you've been promising for about two and a half years? Well, I'll... I'll Put, I'll get that out. I'll get that Time out. Time to talk. It's going to be a busy. Mission. It's going to be a busy year, 2024. It's very busy. We've got X3 coming up in the XBiz Awards. Um, that's the 15th, 16th, and 17th of January. It's only two days. X3. X3. It's two days, but then you have the award show. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, I'll be going that, to right. That. Th- right in there. Do you think I'm up with dread? Go up. You definitely it. can't hook up with him there. <laughs> if you funny. can't get up on the stairs, he can just whoosh, throw his cock out and you can climb it like Jack and the Beanstalk and yeah. get up to the second floor. Um, then, literally 24, 48 hours after that, we're out there in Vegas for, for four ABN. Four days. Four yeah. days. And I, with a lot of wonderful legends, will be signing at mm-hmm. James's booth inside mm-hmm. the industry. Now, last year we were at your booth. You doubled it this year. Have doubled you the mentioned size. mentioned that you got Seika to come to the show? Yes, we have Seika. We have Christy Canyon, Ginger Lynn. We have Michelle Maylene. We have Annie Cruz. Uh, Crystal Rush is going to drop by and say hello. Priya is going to drop by and say hello. A lot of people. Me, Misty. Hi, caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from tonight? Hi, it's Sweepy. I'm calling from Florida. Of course it's Sweepy. Oh, Sweepy. I'm so glad that you realized that we were on tonight. Happy New Year. So happy New Year. Happy New Year to you all. So what are you going to do for the New Year, Sweepy? Of course, take care of my family, but always loving you all. Oh, sweetheart. Are we the loves of your life? Absolutely. (laughs) For 20 plus years, I've known you. Yeah. Uh, Yep. Now, Sweepy, um, coming from a fan's perspective, what would you say has been the most memorable scene you've seen in 2024? Uh, 2023, excuse me. Just a lovely girl doing lots of great work. Anybody in particular? or I would just take the field. Okay. And what do you consider, from a male's perspective, what do you consider great work? Facials, tit mm-hmm. fucking, gang bangs. I mean, uh, there's so many different avenues. What gets you going? What is your kink? What's your fetish? What's your go-to? What's in your spank bank reel when you masturbate? If I would say top three, I'd say MILF, Orgies, and maybe uh, Step Family. Step Family. Okay, all right. Really? Nice thing. I like the MILF thing. You know the guy I'm, um, that I like right now? Who's what? My handler. I met him in Florida. Do you ever just meet someone on the road and I'm like... He came to Florida at the Exotica, and he took care of Tara. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's so fucking cute. See, Sweepy, it could have been you. Yes, I wish it was. And I was like, so can you do New Jersey and D.C.? He came, and then he really came. He was there in D.C. with you. D.C.? I don't remember seeing him there. Yeah, New Jersey, yep. Just adorable, you know. Okay. Have you ever done that when you just kind of, like, think a fan's really cute? Okay, it's, it's, it's going to happen. Like, what's now the phone lines really lighten up right now. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as Crystal Rush said there's a possibility to fuck a fan, everybody said, I want that Russian lesbian now. <laughs> I really, have first you, you know, you, you never know, like, where you're going to, I don't know, like, meet some people who are going to let your, I don't know, like, bread away or, like, mind get, like, you know, blown up. <gasps> And, like, sometimes it can happen, like, poof! And you already <laughs> cannot control everything you think and do. When you yeah. least no. expect it, and that's the thing, you know? When you're just like, oh, let's just have fun. Then I'm like, oh, he's got a cute ginger. I think I can fuck him. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we all have this, like, little weak point when we let ourselves to have this little weakness, right? <laughs> and he'll be at X3. Yes. And Vegas. Now, uh, Sweet Pea, for you and for all the fans that are listening and watching us right now, um, don't forget we have a contest so you can win a free ticket to go to the Avian Expos. Avian was very mm-hmm. gracious to give us four passes that are four days long for the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 
that's a huge deal. I mean, that's worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars right there. So and thank you for that, ABN. Um, that part, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to... Go moving on. Enter the contest now right into inside contest at gmail.com. That's inside contest at gmail.com. Put AVN contest in the header. And I'm giving away two free tickets to go to X3 here in Hollywood. Write in again to inside contest at gmail.com. Okay? And you will get a chance to. Uh, go there for a one day pass to that and I also our good friends over at the Chinese theater on Hollywood Boulevard and Hollywood have given me some movie passes so I'm giving out some movie passes which there's some cool movies out now for the holidays and that's so you can go chance theater oh yeah I mean it's we, historical when we were growing up it was the main theater and that yeah. was it and it has the footprints and the handprints of all the stars from the 50s 40s 30s whatever then they expanded and they've got like six of them but I think they still have the original movie theater oh yes they do yeah like, it's gotta with be the like footprints a national what do they call it like a landmark it's a, a historical landmark it yeah it is so it's that old school theater that a lot of us grew up with did you go to see any movies over the holidays girls I did it at home like. I oh, did okay. Thanksgiving yeah I saw Priscilla Priscilla the one that Priscilla oh, about, wrote. Oh, 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 Priscilla Presley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I thought you Priscilla. meant Priscilla Queen of the Desert about the drag queens in Australia. <laughs> no, it was okay. Priscilla. But I got to tell you, totally off topic, and then I have a question to ask you. I saw two great movies coming home from D.C. Yeah, one was on the a, plane. Yeah, uh, that's where I see most of my movies. Yeah, I so know, much. right? We and do. And just like do two or three at a time. Um, Blackberry, about the people that started Blackberry. I, I was bored movie. with that, yeah. <gasps> I was bored for that. I yeah. loved it. The yeah. other one was um, about a, th- a, a water park in New Jersey in the 80s. Oh, that Action. was like a documentary. Yes. yes. it was so good. If you grew up yes. in that time period, you would totally relate to that. It like, was, if you were getting Dazed killed, and Confused, it, it was, was like that. Action if you guys park. remember Dazed and Confused. Yep, it was yeah. so good that I actually got the book... That V Master sent me for yeah. Christmas. It was just, it was a great movie. I love my, it. My daughter got me puka shell necklace because I was talking about the 70s and how we used to wear the, the bell bottoms and stuff. And I said, yeah, and, and dad used to have a puka shell necklace. She gave me a puka That's shell necklace for the really holidays. Cute. That's yeah. Great. And you're thinking you might even go to Hawaii in two, 2024. Perfect. Oh, God, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you know. You're so cute. Oh, I love this man. Thank you. I love, I love this you. Man. I was going to ask you earlier, though. You Sweet Pea's still about- on, by the way. Yes. Oh, hi, um, <laughs> we're just know. fucking going on I like not that said, and the poor kid's still there. Yeah, okay. Well, he's, uh, it's like he's one of us now. He always has been, though. When you do, going back to your contest, they could win tickets to a- X3, uh, AVN. AVN. Uh, the movie theater tickets. Da, uh-huh. da, da. I have wanted to ask you for the longest time, what percentage of winners, because you have to pay your own way and your own, right. you know, but you get a free ticket, which that's $100 yeah. a day. Yeah. What percentage actually shows up that wins? Oh, I'd say 95%. That much? Jeez. Oh, God, yeah. Very cool. I thought yeah. it would be like 50%. Sweet, no, we, no, we no. love you. Anything else you want to tell us love before you. we kick open the phone lines? Yes, you were mentioning uh, people who were celebrating their birthdays. I don't know if they're on your list or not, but I know two that were celebrating their birthdays recently. Oh, well, it had to be from uh, this Monday through this coming Sunday. Yes, I know um, Joanna Angel was celebrating her yes. birthday yeah. recently. And Priya Rai. And uh, Francesca Lay. And Francesca Lake. They're both on here. Yeah. They're both on here. All right. Thank you, buddy. We got to go to our next call. Bye, Thank baby. you, sweet pea. All right. Take care. All Thank right. you. Take care. Happy New Year. Hello, caller. Who's this where you're calling from tonight? Hello? Hello, caller. You're on the air. Turn down your radio. Hey, it's Jason, James. Jason, how are you? Happy New Year. Good. Hello, happy, Jason. Happy New Year. How's well, everyone doing tonight? Good. Say hello to Christy Canyon and Crystal Rush. 
How are you doing, Crystal and Canyon? Hello. Crystal and Canyon? Hello. I answer to anything, bitch, slut. Just don't call me a whore uh, because I don't, you know, you can call me a slut, though. But I answer to anything. We're doing great. Now, how do you know our good buddy, James? Oh, this, he's um, a major I'm, fan. He's a major fan. I've known him from Exotica, New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, he's a major fan. Okay, yeah. I love that. I love that. Do you jerk off to James's scenes? I always say I always say nice things about people on X. Okay. <laughs> you say nice things about people on what? There's a lot of noise on your end. Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta turn down your uh, your radio, buddy, because you got feedback. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, great. <laughs> Do you have a question for us tonight? Yeah, what are you guys doing? Uh, what are you girls doing for um, New Year's Eve? We're coming to your house, and uh, you need to put us up in a hotel. Four to five. And uh, you're going to have to cook for us breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. 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 <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> when you ask a silly question, you're going to get a silly answer. What is silly about asking? What well, listen, doing? I'm going to tell you. In a way, we would say what we're doing, but in another way, I kind of advise against saying, if, you know, I'm going to go to uh, St. Croix and stuff like that for the weekend. I don't necessarily want to say that because then it also lets people you know that you're not going to be home. And then you get back and you found your house has been burglarized. And he might leave jizz all over your couch. And I don't want to be sitting on his jizz when I come back. Ah, uh, yes. No. So, now, now Jason, for Jason would not do that. Jason's a good kid. No, he wouldn't would. do that. You never know. Anyway, I mean, when you throw stuff out there because I have a mainstream actor friend of mine, and he announced something that him and his wife, who is also a very famous mainstream actress, that the two of them went and announced that they were going on a vacation, and sure enough, they came back to their house over here in Encino, and somebody had burglarized their home. But you know, like, come on, like, let, let's be honest. Like, we always, all the time, we are in charge for all our action. And yeah. if you are a celebrity, if you have something to lose, so please take care about this with a, for not giving a lot of information, which is have to stay out of yeah. camera, right? Yeah. And like, you know, like, and even if I go out for, like, vacation and stuff, like, you know, I always have people at my home who is, like, you know, taking care of this. And I never, yeah. I know, so, like, I'm leaving oh, my place. Oh, you do I'm, like, have people watching your And I'm, like, you place. know, and I'm always saying, like, yeah. no, motherfuckers, even if I'm far away, I'm right. still here. Right, 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 nah, right. Yeah. Nah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. But we're going to have fun. How about that? We're, we're going to have fun, and there's a lot of work to do because we have two major... Um, expos yeah, and, coming up. And those are oh, you look so and sexy when you do this. Those you look. And we just ended two. Those yes. are pretty much back to back. Oh my God. Yeah. <gasps> you know, so because we were in New Jersey and literally four weeks later, we're in Washington, D.C. And then it's the holidays where everyone is crazed. Whether you're driving, it's the worst time for people to drive that are not. Oh, good. God, yeah. But so, like, that's why I'm kind of glad it's all done. Now gear up for the new year. I was yeah. like a new year. Had a great year, but okay, that one's done. Put that and one on And start the getting ready to put together your taxes. You know, I just I was just done paying them that them like last month. It's <laughs> again oh. about to start. Like I know, give me some rest, please, for a second. It's just nuts how that happens. Well, thank you for calling thanks, in. Thanks for calling in tonight, Jason. Yeah. You have a good uh, New Year's, okay, buddy? Happy New Year, you Jason. Too. And don't just happy on New Year's all of you, please. <laughs> okay, I sit on it every week. Or all right, week. you be good out there, kid. All right. All right. Bye. 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 -bye. Okay. Now, um, 818-231-2580. Annie just texted me. They're on their way over now, her and Cody. Um, if you're here in California, great news to announce. Um, in the state of California, starting January 1st, which is like 48 hours from now, they are um, having a lot of new laws for renters, and it's going to be a plus for renters now. But come on, like, like, let me clarify. Oh, let's take a call here. I'm sorry, Crystal. That's all right. We'll get into all right. that. Hello, that's... caller. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Yeah, this is George calling from Texas. He's hey, George. Is. How you doing? He's my, well, he started He's out your, as um, my handler. He started out as your handler? Yeah. 
Was it fun working for Ginger and me? I don't even consider it work anymore. <laughs> yes, every work has to be the pleasure. <laughs> Just enjoy it. That's absolutely I'm right. Waiting. Hashtag I'm that the, part. What do you consider? I'm just it waiting now? on the pink work for the 401k to kick in. From, from 401k? <laughs> <laughs> no 401k. You get a coupon to Del Taco. Wait, That's wait. your retirement. You know what he got after DC? He got uh, a cold. No. <laughs> oh my God. What is this? Magazine that I wasn't even in. Oh, the Tara Patrick said, I'm like, hey, Patrick. You want this Tara Patrick magazine? <laughs> you want to? Mm -hmm. He went up to Tara and asked her if she wanted her own magazine. And, and did I just get that right? No, I gave him no. the magazine. Oh, you gave him the mag. Okay, but I wasn't right. even in it. But it <laughs> was it signed at least? No. <laughs> no, and then of course I go through my luggage at the airport, and the the lady looks at me, and I'm like, "Yeah, it's not mine." <laughs> she hey. went through your stuff? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, TSA did. Oh. Oh, my God. Here's a funny story really quick about uh, pre-TSA since he's talking about this. There was one time I was with Misty, and we were flying out of LaGuardia. I don't recommend flying in and out of that airport. I'm no. sorry. <laughs> I would rather go out of New uh, Newark. But we're going out of LaGuardia. And Misty just came out with her flashlight at that okay. time. Three orifices. So she had it in her carry-on, okay? <clears throat> so we're going through there, and ding, 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 the alarms go off because of the metal container. And the lady goes, what's this? And she opens it up, and she starts ticking her finger in there. No. And she goes, Laverne, you got to come <laughs> over here. Look at this thing. Oh. And we were all like, baby, you got to buy that now. <laughs> because you stuck your motherfucking <laughs> finger in there. That's not, you didn't even have a glove on. You did, just like. Did they figure out what it was? Well, was yeah. It? They go, but is it supposed to be a pussy? Is no. it supposed to be an asshole? It's supposed to be a mouth? Uh, what and did they're sick of do? She, oh, she was freaking out. I was like holding her back. And I go, ma'am, you're going to have, we can't resell this. Well, you can't bring this on the plane. They go, what, we're going to hijack a plane with a fake pussy? And they're very I, soft and supple. Supple. I mean, they're really <laughs> you know, they are going to Spit it out. <laughs> spit it out. Okay. But, I mean, you, uh, uh, how embarrassing that is uh, if you bring a sex toy in your carry-on and how you have to explain uh, that, no, no, I, I, let I, alone George bringing a, 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 a girl why you have to, Come on, I have a question. Why do you have to explain yourself for, for having the toys? Yeah. Uh, I'm like, yes, I do. I do have it. So what? Yeah, I'm sure even people in porn get Yeah, I put my right? dick in this warm mm -hmm. hole and this vibrating around. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> Squirt a little <laughs> in there. Yeah, and like, you know, and for you, like, fucking, like, asshole, like, super annoying, I highly recommend it to do Happy the same. Maybe year. you will become nicer. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Now, Patrick, was that the first time that you ever got caught with something in your luggage? Yes, yes. Okay. Well, Thank you very much for that one. You're welcome. Okay. I like uh, I like giving you new uh, ideas. Yeah. I ideas out there. Um, uh -huh. Patrick, what has been your favorite adult film of the year of 2023? Ooh. 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 Was that the name of the movie? Do you still watch porn after meeting me? That's what I'm saying. It, it, everything has to be retro now. <laughs> oh, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. The kid's smart. He's smart. That's good. And he is smart. Yeah. He, he's very cute. You're very cute, Patrick. All right. Thank well, you thank for calling you in tonight, Patrick. I'll call you later. Yep. Y'all have a good one. Okay. Bye, take care now. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Um, we were, you were saying. Ah, I don't even remember what we were talking about. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, why don't we break away for a commercial and she'll try to remember what's <laughs> happening because she's a blonde now, so. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's affecting what? my brain so much now. <laughs> and it's just one of those nights. We know it's our last night here on Inside the Industry. And it's a special night. We're normally on Wednesdays. We will be going back to Wednesday. And uh, we've got a very special 
big star who's going to be on next week uh, with us on the Wednesday. I can't say because I got to make sure that it's uh, she's going to yeah concrete. Okay, I get it. But we are talking with her people, and it looks like we're going to have her on. Ooh, her and then we uh, yeah. we do no, have some. Big. Mainstream stars that are going to be coming on the show. So, starting after January first, um, we will still have our adult film stars on every month, uh, but we're also going to start implementing mainstream guests on on the show as well. And you'll be going doing some of them because some of these mainstream actors said, "You're going to bring Christy on." Oh my God, like like that, yeah. that time I was supposed to meet you. Yeah. For that, at that place. At Billy's, yeah. at Billy Vera's concert. And then you called, you're like, oh, I'm not feeling well. Yeah. But we had a good conversation. Yeah, yeah. we had a good conversation. <laughs> by, yeah. Anyways, let's break away for a commercial. We come back, we've got some old bits to talk about. We've lost some very dear people, and recently a, a very wonderful young lady by the name of Amara Morani. And Romani, um, Amara Romani, and she was on the show with us, Christy, when we were shooting live at the studio at yes. Planetary. And that's when that uh, episode, I think Annie Cruz was there. Lucky yeah, Annie, Star, Lucky Star, all blonde. of them were all on there. Yeah. Some cute blonde. That was Nina L. Nina L., yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's, it's really sad, but uh, whether you're in show business adult or mainstream or you're out there doing your civilian job still watch out for your friends out there um they might be going through some mental problems and stuff like that just be there and talk to them can make the world a difference if you notice somebody that might have an erratic behavior talk to them or maybe report them you know the drugs aren't like we used to have back in the day I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. We we had drug drugs are still drugs and they're bad, but they People were safe. People still doing that. They were safe. <laughs> they were safer. Right. I mean, now you you got to be careful of just getting aspirin. It could be laced with something, you know. So you got to be careful out there. So uh, the best thing to do just don't do the drugs. You know, don't get yourself in that situation. Don't get so depressed that you're going to go postal or or harm yourself or others. Or self-medicate. Or self, yeah, exactly. I mean, we all have bad things. I just got some bad news just before we went on the air. But I'm not going to let that affect me from doing the show and going on to doing great things. And didn't you, don't you, know? you notice, like, when we were on Sirius XM, you might get bad news, whatever. Kind of getting yourself out of it is the best remedy. And doing a show, you know. Right on, I right on. I remember going to radio sometimes. I miss doing that show. You know, I was telling Patrick, You remember when we were on Sirius XM, Crystal? You used to love coming so, on that. I, here's the thing. You have beautiful eyes. It's that kind of thing where I miss the routine. Like, the other day I was working at home. I was just in my pajamas all day. Like, and I thought, oh, I miss getting out. That's, yeah. you know, and like you had your routine, I'd go here for lunch, do, 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 you know, and then you go to work and then you do, that's what I miss. So many people are working at home now. And I okay. don't like it as much. Yeah, they took yeah. away our discipline. They took yeah. away like yeah. our, like, you know, this chance like to wake up, get up, yeah. get ready and get out. Right. Uh, now right. you're always right. in and you like kind of relax and like, okay, I can do this later. I can do right. this now. And you get yes. to like, slow me. Like, and I know. notice like sometimes no. I get up and make my coffee. I go back in bed with my phone and I just work from my bed for an hour. Now, that's not necessarily a good thing. No. Yes. We, we, what, uh, what exactly we're talking about? Like, yeah, a it's lot my, of people you know, said it was convenient. You know, but it's, yeah. it's, it's convenient at the beginning and at some point. Like, you know, sometimes when you have a baby it's next to you and you, like, you know, cannot leave your home. Or, like, you know, you get some injury and, like, right. you still be able. But when you have your hands and legs, when you have your kids, like, you know, out to somewhere, better to get out and do something. Never but, right. like, as yeah. long as you sit in home, you're putting the roots into laziness and nothingness. Yeah. And like, you know, it's yeah. not a lot of people who can, I don't know, be super productive, staying at home, like, you know, like, just, like, you know, do not surf surfing in the phone or, like, doing stuff. Like, no, we need to just, like, yeah, get this, some routine and yeah, make I us, agree. like, go and go out. Completely, Christian. Wow. I really do. Very, very good points. That's a good point. All right, let's break away for a commercial. We're going to be right back, right after these special words. If you like your cartoons, comics, animated porn and games that are hot raw and uncensored check out dukes.com 
That's Dukes with a Z. They have the sexiest erotic stories featuring curvy milfs, busty teens, and well-hung studs ready to give them every thick inch. There's superhero porn, horror and suspense porn, monster porn, and horny housewives. With hundreds of videos and thousands of comics, you'll be guaranteed to have a good time. And coming this summer, dukes.com will be adding some hardcore VR animated porn onto the site as well. So, check out dukes.com. You won't be disappointed. Happy holidays from Dukes Dolls. We're having a special sale for the holiday season. For the months of December to January, when you type the promo code in HOLIDAY2023, that's HOLIDAY2023, we will automatically get you $100 off the price of any medium or large product on the website. That's www.dukesdolls.com. Come and get a very special gift for a very special someone or yourself. We won't tell if you don't. So come and get the best pleasure toys around and only at Duke's Dolls. That's Dolls with a Z, baby. Happy Holidays. <laughs> if you like me, your lovely Misty Stone, Emily Willis, Kenzie Reeves, Gabby Carter, Abella Danger, Tina K, Sybil, Erica Lauren, Candace Dare, or Purple Bitch. Go to the mall.sexy, click channels number two, and scroll down to whatever you like, baby. Or check out our news. Keep up with what's happening, like inside the industry and much, much more. All you want is at the mall.sexy. Remember that site and visit them today and every fucking day. The mall.sexy, baby. The Mall.Sexy is the newest porn center, and you can find all that you're looking for there. Shop the stores and check out the theaters. Everybody is on there, even me, the lovely Misty Stone. Just click on the channel 2 at the top, and all of my social media connections are on there too, baby. And one of the real reasons that I'm talking about The Mall.Sexy is The Mall.Sexy now has... The new Vixen Media Group series, Milfy. Plus, Blacked, Blacked Raw, Tushy, Tushy Raw, Deeper, starring that sexy redhead, Maitland Ward, and Slate. Go to the mall.sexy and join today. And all of the links are there on the homepage. 24 hours a day, the mall has it all. The mall.sexy. <laughs> Hello, folks, and we're back inside the industry with James Bartolet and Christy Canyon and Crystal Rush. Annie Cruz is on her way. Back up a little bit. Okay. Oh, shit. What? I'm spilling something on the floor. This is my homemade chili, and I will be posting oh the recipe online. Homemade chili. What? Okay, so there we good, go. Everybody. Oh my god, mm. I've never had chili this good, and I've had much, much oh god. chili. This one's delicious. You know what? This is a good dish. Now, you can either make this with ground beef or ground turkey. You gotta get your kidney beans in there. Um, you wanna get a mm. can of uh, little small diced tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then make your chili sauce. And then I put in green peppers. And do you notice how it has a little bit of sweetness to it? Mm-hmm. Honey? 
I put caramelized onion jam in there. Oh my God, it's, you always have a little something to throw us off. Right. You do yeah. That last but it's time good, though. It excellent. Oh, my God. And then, Crystal, you tried my special um, peach and mango yeah. uh, pork chops. Yeah, that's, that, that was amazing. That was a great one. I didn't plan to eat anything, actually, but I couldn't help myself, and I still do. Yeah. <laughs> and I took it. She went to eat before she came here, and I said, why do that? Um, I was right can somebody bring me a napkin or something, please? I'm using my pants. Bill no, I'm not going to use your pants, for <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> Jesus. I forgot a napkin, too. No, I'm too Gucci for that. <laughs> and I'm so not Gucci. Yeah. Okay. I almost at least wore I, my... At least I'm going to learn something. Thank terms. you, Edric. Oh, you're okay. so nice. <laughs> Let's hear it for Edric, by the way. What a wonderful job Yay. he does. And Edric, you have a new studio facility down in San Diego, right? Yep. Skyhawk. What's it called? Skyhawk Studios. Skyhawk Studios. Um, look them up at skyhawkstudios.com. Uh, skyhawkafterdark.com. Skyhawkafterdark.com. And these um, studio facility, it's huge. He's got all of these rooms. I gave him some of my furniture from um, the old Planetary Studios. I love um, that studio. It was great. It was great. But if you're down in the San Diego area and you're shooting content or you're doing a little film project or something, contact our friends over at skyhawkafterdark.com. And they'll set you up. The rates are, are really good. It's like hundred dollars an hour. That's that's like really super great. And, and it's beautiful down there. And he comes up here just for the show. I know, right? He loves us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Christy. He loves us. What's our number? Eight one eight. Two three one. Two five eight zero. Why am I hearing feedback? I don't know. It's not me. Not me. <laughs> not me, Daddy. I didn't do it. Now, Crystal. Do you have a new scene coming out? Uh, no. <laughs> no? Actually, no. I have no idea because there was a lot of scene like which is I shot and like it's never out. And as I told before, like my old 2023, I dedicate to like my marriage, my life, and like all my stuff. But like I, I barely was filming anything. And like for the next year, I can... Uh, and Have you and your wife shot a scene together? Uh, we decided to not do this for now, like because our private life and our personal life are going to be our personal and private life. And maybe one day we will decide to right. sell it, we will, but... No. You know, she's married to Priya. Okay, I was just going to say, as your wife in the business... You're married to Priya. I yeah. love her. I've known her about twenty years. Yeah, yeah. and like so, and she just and she actually she were, she quit like the day like actually like I get into the business. It was two thousand thirteen, and like yeah, we were talking about. It. I'm like, honey, you know how many of my like fans and like I bet yours like want to do this, right. and she's like, darling, like I quit like almost 10 years ago like yeah she's still like seeing her fans and stuff and she's like and if i decided to do this like yeah like of course like you know like we can like uh, we like we're right. gonna do like you know like some like nice cute stuff like i'm going to turn her down <laughs> yeah. i promise to you people i do but uh what's about like you know like to real like you know like some hardcore content and stuff no like we decided to keep it like you know between us but who knows like you know i always say like nothing going to change i you never say <laughs> Never. Right. And look at what she's doing right now. Twirling when, her hair. Twirling her hair. Do you know that when a woman does that, she's flirting with you 99% of the time? She's flirting with you. Guys, she's you know, like, I'm, I'm absolutely... Well, she's flirting. <laughs> and I absolutely agree with both of you, but, like, you never can say never, and nothing lasts forever, and even, True. like, you know, today we say, like, we don't want to do this, and, like, so another time we can change our mind and right. stuff, like, yeah. But so as, as for now, like she does my muse, she inspired me to do like stuff and like I terrorize, yeah, how about I terrorize your brain about other you things. Sir, how long have you and Priya been married? I love that. We got married uh, and this March, March of 2023 and wow. Equinox, it was like March 21st, like it was Equinox. We decided to make it in a day which is going to like, you know, like mean something, yeah, like, you know, yeah. like what's like, yeah, some tra yeah. How's it, like, kind of like transfer out of one period into another one. And I think, you know, like, you? and I think, you know, like the saltus or how to call it, like, you know, ah, it was oh. Equinox, not saltus. And I think like, you know, Equinox, like about like, you know, like to just like, you know, like to change. Yeah. Like, you know, it yeah. was a great sign. And you know, even though you can say, 
after that day, like a lot of things start changing, and a lot of things start changing in a wonderful way. So, like, just I should like, hope so. Yeah, that's yeah. why I cannot say, like, you know, I cannot say nothing but just like great thing about my marriage. I love hearing that. I, I, that's you. great. That's yes. great. Congratulations. Yes, very congratulations. And we'll see her. Obviously, is she going to come here for X three? Uh, we think about so, like, uh, if she decided to to do this, like, so, like, she definitely will. But like, she doesn't like Los Angeles that much. Maybe just like you know, like. How about you? You're, sh you're next. Getting married? Yeah, to Ginger. No, I've been married four times. That's done. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. Like, you know, after four times, yes, like, you know, it's yeah. already, like, not that fun. You know, it's my second one. And, like, and you they know? were all fun, but I don't need to get married anymore. It's really? my date. Yeah. I know, wow. I think, you know, like, it's always have to, uh, because I was at a lot of different podcasts and was watching some different things, and now, like, you know, people try to fight for this, like, you know, morality and stuff, right. but they, they already, like, forget the idea what, you know, like, this, like, how to say university of marriage, it's a little bit that, and, like, you know, if you want to still, like, you know, like, revolve something around marriage, you have to rebuild the importance of that, because, okay. like, you know, like, now, like, if we get married, like, why we get married, like, we get kids, maybe we get business, maybe we get, like, some, I don't no, no, real estate together. So, like, we have something together. Like, yeah. it has to be something. So, like, we're not getting married anymore just because we love each other. So, it's because we are planning to build something together, which right. is we have to, Very after, smart. like, 10 years, like, we have to, like, you know, all right to, like, yeah. you know, like, rip apart 50-50. Yeah. We aren't doing this for the sake of love. We're doing this for the sake of, like, don't kill each other when we decided to get divorced. So, just yeah. and, and that's, like, and that's well, smarter than a lot of straight yeah, couples. Yeah, and, like, you know, and one time, yeah. like, I heard it, and, like, we are pretty agree with that what you know it's just like a uh, legitimate idea of like long-term relationship with like you know like okay now you with me without a chance like you know like to leave me like you know right away right, right, right. so like well, at least like i know what like we still have to stick together for a while so it's like you know can you promise me and sign it and so and just why like i think we have to rethink our like marriage importance and maybe in that case it will have some like reason yeah and ginger she's been engaged nine times oh yeah. god yeah yeah. And she's she's like, why would I need to get married at this point? You know, she's very, you know, Lord, she's very comfortable and very happy. Okay. So, and what about you, Mr. Man? <laughs> I'd love to be married. Would you get married again? Mm-hmm, you bet. So, we still have a chance to have very fancy wedding. So, oh. so now, ladies, now it's the time to find the bride. Ladies, please, <laughs> ladies, please send your email into. Galaxy. Marriage proposal inside at you know, okay. and send it inside and never pull out. <laughs> and tell him why you should be the one that he chooses. Oh God, no! Because then, oh, they don't open those floodgates. <laughs> don't say All anything. Right. Just smile. All right. Now I got to switch gears a little switch. bit. Go on a, a sad note here. As I said at the top of the show, there we lost a very lovely young lady. Her name was Amara Romani. She passed away on New Year's Eve day. We haven't even hit New Year's Eve. Yeah. I mean, excuse me, Christmas Eve day. Uh, she was just 30 years old. Uh, the cause of death has not been determined yet. And please, let's um, have respect for her, uh, her family. And uh, don't go around with a lot of speculations and, and this and that and stuff like that. You don't know. And also, you don't need to know. Okay. When a celebrity dies, I don't know why they have to get this information out there to the fans. It's none of their business. It's just curiosity. curiosity. Yeah, it's like you just took nature. it out. There. Well, it's wrong. Anyways, Amara was a lovely young lady. Yeah, no, sometimes curiosity is fine because, you know, you got to know why her. it's happened and, like, so at yeah. least, like, you can protect yourself or, like, by, yeah, but never, like, like, learn by some other's mistakes, but, like, you know, maybe mistake by mistake, like, you know, and it's, I like, think eventually when they tell you it's good, just because a lot of times you had a relationship with this person, even yeah. if they didn't know you, even if, what, whoever, Amari or who's the guy from Friends, Matthew Perry, you feel yeah. like... Yeah. I kind of was invested in this, not creepy stalker invested, but like I kind of, I followed their career, I was a fan, I kind of want that closure. Well then leave it at that. But don't call the fucking family, that's just creepy. Yeah, that, that's just more terrible part yeah. because yeah. Like, it's, it's more vulnerable exactly. people. Like, but to part. be curious, it's just human nature. Yeah. It really is. We mm. are assholes and we cannot do anything with that. I have an yeah. asshole, but you won't get it. Yep. Um. <laughs> you could lick it. 
you could maybe put a finger in it. <laughs> and uh, to uh, rim Christy Canyon, just send an email to rimminginside <laughs> at g- <laughs> gmail.com. And all call right. it what they used to call it, so I'll understand. Good yeah. old-fashioned toss my salad. Yeah. That's what we called it in the day. Tossing salad. Now, Sounds um, very healthy. Can I get back to the people that passed away okay. this last year? Know, Thank I you. Know. Um, Karen Summers, oh, our dear shoot. friend Karen yes. Summers, passed away yep. um, a few weeks ago. And that was natural. Uh huh. Cancer. And Herschel Savage, oh. a, a legend and a great friend, been on the show many times. And uh, rest in peace, uh, Herschel. This was heart. Yeah. His old ticker gave out. Uh, Max Hardcore. I forgot about that. Yeah, passed away, 66 years old, a Hall of Famer. What was his from? At least he got in the Hall of Fame. Okay, yeah. Well, what did he pass from? Um, oh, he man. passed away, uh, he had a, a pneumonia. Ammonia? A pneumonia. No. Pneumonia? Pneumonia, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, who else did we lose? Um, Jay Allen. Do you remember Jay Allen? He was a photographer in the I industry. I saw that on, like, the yeah. X-Biz yeah. news app on Twitter. I did see... I did not know him, though. And then, um, also recently, we lost Reed Lee. Um, he was part of the long-running adult industry attorney. I've met him. Very nice man. Um, he was associated with the Free Speech Coalition, and he had a heart attack, so... Um, all of these uh, wonderful people in our industry, there you was know, somebody else. rest in peace. I mean, there was oh. the guy that started Julie Land. Yes. yes. I don't remember his name, but I interviewed yeah. him many times on Playboy Radio. Really yeah. nice, and he was yeah. very artsy. Yeah. And he really, like, julieland.com, I don't know if it's still around. That was huge 15 years ago. Yeah, 20. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget his name, but he passed all young guy too, and yeah. I don't think we ever really found out what that one was from. Well, let's go to a little news right now. Um, some new movies coming out. I am in this movie. Uh, my good buddy Seth Gamble put me in this, um, had a little cameo in this. Um, I it's like called him. he is a good guy. Uh, it's called Timeless. And it also stars Jane Wilde and Alexis Tay, and it's currently on Wicked.com. It's kind of a 1940s theme to it. Kendra Sutherland, lovely girl. We love Kendra Sutherland. Library girl. Yes. Uh, She just made her first appearance in an evil angel scene, um, and it's called Hookup Hotshot E-Girl 12. And that is out now. She's adorable. She's oh, been she around is. For a while too. Alex, uh, Lily Bell. You remember Lily Love was on with Lily her. Bell, yes. She's in a brand new one for Dorcel called Luxure, My Wife's Lovers, uh, with Liv Jordan. Uh, let's see what else. Some other stuff. Pat Mines got a brand new one called Anal, Anal Oil Latex Four, and that's out on Evil Angel Video. They're one of the longest, them and Adam oh, yeah. are the two companies and Hustler from the 80s that are still around. Yeah, but they're all owned by one big company. Did Gamma buy out Evil Angel? No, not Evil. Oh, okay, okay. okay. They're the only one, they, they haven't got him and they haven't got uh, Jules Jordan. What about Hustler? Hustlers, yeah, they sold them. They got that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And uh, when you get home, you're going to find your house is owned by them. They just take out more money than anyone. Look at this new movie that's out. This is interesting. This one is called Gilligan's Byland. And it's inspired by the classic 1960s television series. Um, It's uh, directed by our buddy uh, Jim Powers. Love uh, him. Byphoria.com. Interesting cast, but it, uh, but hence the title, you know, the Skipper and Gilligan are probably getting it on. Well, good. That part, well yeah. Shake that. They may have yeah. been getting it on in the real one, too. Could have been. You, you don't, don't know. You don't know. <laughs> um, who knows? Um, <laughs> Put that pineapple up my ass. Yes. Lovey. Lovey. <laughs> Um, Alex Cole is in Mike Quasar's The Voyeur 6 from Mile High Media. That is out now. 
and I love her. Oh, she I met she is her so here groovy. When we did those voiceovers, yeah, she's a, she's adorable. I really yeah. like her. She's got her shit together and she's cute and she's yes. quirky. And it's called Tangled Triple X, and it's a take on Rapunzel. And Christy is in that, and Alex Cole and myself, and. Crystal is in one with Isaiah called The Vampire Ship, and that's out now. And then the woman who's the star of Lolly with me and Tommy Pistol and Demi Hawks just walked in the room. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Annie fucking Cruz. Welcome, my honey. I haven't seen Hello. you since the last time. Hello. Come on over here. And I made chili. Hello. Oh, oh, and it's so Hi. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Sorry, and like pork chops and everything. We got lots of stuff. We held it down, Annie Cruz. Yes, I've yes. heard yeah. it. How's yeah. it going, guys? Um, we were talking about somebody who passed away. Do you remember Amara Romani? She was on the show when we did it over at Galaxy. I mean, at the uh, Planetary Studios. We had uh, Nina like, L. and all those girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Who is this? And she was one of the girls who was on the show with us. Oh. She just passed away on Christmas Eve. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, rest yeah. in peace. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. And that it's, happens. It's, that does. But here, listen, you have some chili. Cody, have some chili, kid. Uh, okay. You're cute. Good to Look see at you this. again. Oh, I, I saw you here last time like a month ago, mm. two mm. months ago. Mm. Mm. That's good. Ah, crystal. Good. Everybody loves my chili. Ah, I love it. It's crystal. Mm, nom, nom. Yes. No, his chili is delicious. Mm. It is so mm. good. Your guy and you are so cute together. Thank Can you. I just say? We are. Can I just Thanks, say? Thanks, guys. You hit a home run with him. I did. Uh, and he I hit a home run. He, yeah. And you hit a home run in her. <laughs> he, hit, he hit two home runs with her. And, uh, by the way, you're going to see the lovely, legendary Annie Cruz joining me and Christy and Ginger and Seika and Michelle Maylene and Misty Stone and um, Lucky Star mm. and Kiki Dare and Mickey Lynn at AVN. You're oh. going to go? I'm going to go. No, it'll be, yeah. my first, it'll be my first AVN in years. That's why I said it like yeah. that. Not because I we're don't just going to party like, like rock stars. You're going? <laughs> Annie hasn't Fuck been yeah. to that in how many years? Ten? Yeah. No, not ten. Pro- I, I want to say, when was the last time when we did Vivid Radio? Oh, that's right. That's when was the last right. time we did AVN? What was that, that four was... years ago? Yeah. W- Topic about we it. Did, yeah. We only did AVN maybe twice. We did the Exoticas. Yeah, and then we did AVN. No, but you did twice. AVN. And we were right underneath... Um, Marcy set us up right underneath like that staircase thing yeah, when we were, we were like there at the, the Hard yeah. Rock. That had to be that right at the opening. That was a long time ago. That, that was, was a long time yeah. ago. Uh, that was the last time I was there. Monique Alexander was there. That yeah. Was, yes. like, that was, I think, our first year with Vivid Radio, so uh-huh. 10 years ago. And then we did one other one and we were at the adult time booth. I think that was And we had to be there for that entrance Something because like the, the, 18. the electricity or the radio yeah. signal was the strongest yeah, there. That, yeah, whatever that one was, I think it was before 2017, honestly. It was the last yeah. one on TV. It yeah. was right yeah. when Gamma yeah. was licensing Vivid before they, I think, bought it outright. Yeah. And <laughs> we were in, and I think they had just gone from Gamma to adult time. Mm-hmm. I, I did mine with... Um, oh, God. I didn't do it with you that year. When I was on... Pee Wee uh, Herman. Aiden Star. Aiden Star. I was with Aiden Star. Aiden Star. Who we love. Mother. We need to get Aiden on the show Mother. here with us. She Do called you guys, in once. She called in one time. But if you remember her show, she was nasty. And she got these guys who would call in. She goes, okay, pig boy. And he goes, I'm putting a corn cob up my ass, mistress. And it's just she like going on. Best. And I was like... She this guy would like was. dress up in a diaper and yeah. he'd, he'd walk through um, fucking, you know, Times Square and stuff like that and jack off with a pineapple up his ass oh and my. just because she'd what say to do called? that. Like Diary of the Mistress. Yeah, diarrhea yeah, it was, of what? It was like, it was like a, oh, diary. I think it's a diary. Yeah, di- di- yeah, diary of a dominatrix. Yeah, diary of a dominatrix. Or diary of a dominatrix. See, diarrhea of a, of a mistress, that's an extra. 1500. Yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, I remember when a fan from France offered. And I'm saying that while this eating. Was back when chili. I was, you know, when I was still active in the industry and I was doing domination stuff, I had a fan, a French fan, offer me to fly me to Europe and ever to Paris, you know. And, um, but then he was like, 
I I custom built a toilet seat. I'm eating chill. Sorry, that I can put my See, don't spray it. Slide my head underneath, and you, and I was like, so you want me to pee? Oh like, my oh. god! And I knew what he wanted. I was right. just like, mm. and he's like, mm, not quite. And I'm like, I can't. You can't pay me enough money to do that. I can't. Do can it. you I believe that? Do it. Yes, I, I don't can. care how much lax moves. I could not do that on cue. Yeah, on cue, cue or not cue, like I, I just, yeah. I'm, I, I could not, I could, I cannot, I don't care. I'm don't like care. you, pee? I don't mind a little. Yeah, pee. Every, Every time, time when this pee, one comes on the show, it's wild talk. But, but it's but, wild but talk. To, to poop, I was like, and a lot of my friends, a lot of my girlfriends were like, "Are you gonna do it? Like it's, it's Paris." I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Right. Like that, that. Plus, like, plus it's a little weird too. Like, okay, what if, I, what if this guy's, you know, like a murderer or something? I don't fucking know. The you know whole what I mean? scat thing, you I know. Don't get. But like, but like scat in general, I'm like, that was like a hard no for me. It didn't, yeah. didn't matter where the fuck this guy was gonna send me. I was like, nah, I'm, I'm good. Not worth and, it. And no. and the worst part was the whole time while she's doing it, the guy is watching a Jerry Lewis movie <laughs> because <laughs> Jerry Lewis <laughs> is huge in France. So the guy just sits there and goes, ah, Jerry Lewis, you're a master. Pfft, yeah, I love you. Pfft, ah, yeah, I'm fun. See, so yeah. you got into the spirit of it. You were a little grossed out at first, and then you're like, if you can't beat him, join him. Well, that's why <laughs> I do what I do. Chill down and go with it. Yeah, just go with it. Crystal, what, are you still there with us? I mean, Crystel, we, we didn't freak you out, is, did you? No, okay. she doesn't get freaked out. What she is sits the there, strangest <laughs> thing, Crystal, that a fan has ever asked you to do? I'm going to go with that was the strangest thing a fan ever asked you to do. Yeah. But then again, Mainstream Sandy or Cruz. adult. No, I wouldn't say it's the strangest, but I mean, Tiffany Haddish has got weird fans. I don't think she can top what that. What about you, yeah. though, Crystal? I have a couple of like, stories. Like, one, it was like, just like custom video from like one of my fans. I had to like find the guy and create the story with him with like, he, like, I kill his father to fuck him. Oh, and, my God. And make up, and, like, you know, and how I have to seduce to fuck him in the butt and all that stuff, and I had to make up all the story, but he paid me five grand Is for this that. porn or a <laughs> Yes, yes, movie? yes. I, fu- I found the guy. Of course, I found the guy, and we, like, you know, imitate all the story about how he was, like, not good what I kill his right, daddy, right. and, like, I rape him in the butt, like, and all Did that. you write a script for it? Uh, I was writing it myself. He just gave yeah. me, he just gave me, like, you know, all these ideas, and I was trying to put it all together, and yes, like, you know, I, all the time I'm saying, like, I'm very open-minded. But in this moment, it was like, that seems a little bit too much. But you did it, and you're fine. You got through it. She sounded like Barack when she said that. Totally. <laughs> yeah, I did it. And after, he's like, I have another idea. I'm like, you know, like, since today, like, I know, like, that's, like, kind of nice money. But, like, I, I you know, I feel like, you know, I do something. How much money? I told you, like, he paid me for five grand for making 40 minutes of video. And you never saw it surface Fine. anywhere. <laughs> You're lucky. You know, but you know it's wild though, because the reason why I asked is because some, you know, some fans they'll give you like a custom, but they'll do like a ten-page script. Oh, well, I, I, yeah. I have this guy. And uh, I'm just like, you want me to what? Like, what the I, fuck? I, I, I have this fan. This a little bit. It, it, he wanted. Yeah. I have this fan. He wanted me to show what I dragged down the girl, and like after like I decided to use this, like you know, like I just use this, like you know, uh, some like you know how fake sugar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you know, when I decided to put this video on my like porn hub and stuff, I have to like put the disclaimer everywhere. What like it's not drugs, and yeah. I do not like drag down yes. anyone, and I not keep up because they wanted to like put me down for that, like. I'm really? surprised that yeah. they even let you. OnlyFans, they would pull that before it even uploaded. Yeah, because yeah. they have, like, rules now on OnlyFans, right? Like, yeah, you can't do anything like, that's, like, um, rem- like even, like, like chloroforming something. No, yes, no. yes, yeah. yes. You know? Never, no, and you Because those are fun. Sorry. Nothing <laughs> can even be outside anymore. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> yes. It's no like, outside. Oh, no outside. You can't even be on your patio. Like, even in your own backyard. Nope. No. 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 I did a scene like a, with Riley St- I, Guys, you and, know, now we're going to sell it like we another patio, like black market. And they like, got rid of it. <laughs> Completely. That's no. wild. Yeah, yeah it, they've gotten so, I mean, like, too vanilla. And, uh, yeah. You know, you can't say daddy. They but you know, that's well, wait, you know. Wait, 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 wait. You can't say daddy? You can say stepdaddy. Step ah, you have to, you yeah. have to imply I this once. Daddy, they yeah. You have to imply this at least once, like during the video, like at least at the beginning, you have to say what it's terrible, what it's not real. So fuck yeah. Yeah. But yeah. You know, like, is there a rule book but or you know, something? Like, yeah, yeah. They just change it as they but go. But you know, like we was doing it. video for a clip Because I feel well. like, uh, I don't want it anymore. Now, now, <laughs> yeah. here's something in the news here, okay. kids. Okay. A- Alo, is that how you pronounce it? Ilo, 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 is the parent company of the adult site Pro- 
previously known as Pornhub. Did you change their name? And they've changed their name now to Alo. Yeah, about its stuff. What? You, I would, the accusation but just changed your name. In the <laughs> state of Montana, they have geo-blocked it because of an age verification law. Montana is the latest state to be blocked by the adult industry. Wasn't there another one where they like they, they make you do like a very extensive uh, verification process? I think it was like yeah. Utah or something. Probably Utah. Yeah, Probably Utah. I know. Like, well, has um, the most porn watching. Missouri. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Missoula, Missouri, Missouri. Yeah, Louisiana has the same thing now. Wait, so what, you can't go on anything, or you have to do? And that whole state. There, which you can't even access the website at all. Like it's like it's like banned. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I am not a computer genius by any stretch of, of the word, but aren't there ways to get around that? Yeah, VPN. it's always VPN. Loud. VPN. Yeah, that's the thing. VPN. I mean, I mean, I could say that out loud. Everybody knows that like your work work around anything on the internet. Right. So I'm, I'm a big yeah. tech geek. Um, is a VPN. You get a VPN, you just pretend like you're somewhere else. Right, exactly. That's how people people in Europe view stuff that they can't. People view in, in Russia right now yeah. using a VPN for like using like Instagram right now, but Instagram banned in Russia. Like you know, you cannot use it like straight up. Like so, right, you need right. to get VPN. And now like you know, like Russia, like you know, they don't like to play with that shit, and they start banning like you know, like all VPNs, like you know, one after another. Wow. And Russian people like getting another one and another one like every, every time, like again. Because a you, lot of porn is outlawed in Russia, yeah. It's you look, you know, like a lot of porn outlawed everywhere. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, like, but here's the thing. But a lot of shit was they, coming out of there. They've been trying to get rid of porn since I got in in the 80s, and yeah. no one has succeeded in 40 years. You're never going to put that genie back in the bottle. Oh, you God, You may make no. it harder to find it, harder to reroute, to get it. Porn's not going anywhere. Go Porn. after some of the big issues in this world. Exactly. Thank Porn you. Porn is the low-hanging fruit. That's what I... But they've you need to get a T-shirt made with that. Porn is so low, and it'd be like a big this. hit on a branch. It's Here like we a go. Slit dropping off of a branch. Oh, it's, yeah. uh, they're never gonna get rid of it. Yeah, guys, it's more about like not like what porn does for us. It's what we do like through the porn, and like you know, it's it's all about like you know healthy consuming. It's and like, it have rules. I'm and not it's saying like, don't. No, have I mean rules. like you know, like consuming is about like you know whatever you do, like however you eat, drink, like use an internet use a porn like everything have to be limited right and like if you not limit yourself like even like a lot of cartoons during the day can be damaged for you so it's not because of like porn oh but, god yeah, porn, yeah. Porn, porn kill like men like uh, how to say testosterone because like as long as many time you jerking off like you know right. like you know as lower it gets but like you know like if you like always control your mind at the stage when like you know you're not dependent some of on those it. cartoons so, are like, really bizarre but you should jerk off yeah. isn't there something where guys need to jerk off at least once a day to keep their but not hard hold on, today. hold on. I've got a fact on that here. Hold I'm, on. I always thought that like it's healthy for guys to get that come out, make room for more. You don't want a backlog. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. Um, people in their 20s have sex more than 80 times a year, declining to 60 times per year by age 45, 20 times per year at age 65. Once, <laughs> once in a blue moon in your 80s. Hmm. So they said that each year after the peak of sexual frequency at 25, sexual frequency declines by 3.2%. I have a fun fact for you because yes. I, I had had this discussion on my, on my Twitch stream recently. Um, like the oldest person to have a child was... N- Oh, fuck. Cody, do you remember how old the guy was? The woman was like 76 or something. She had a kid? Yeah, she had a kid. No, 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 I'm sorry. The, how old was he? He was in the 90s. He was in the 90s, and he was Indian. He was an Indian fella. He was, he was 96, had, his, had a child, and then had another child two years later at the age of 98. Why? And, the, and I think the, the mother was like 55 or something like that. So the, but he was in his 90s, almost 100. And his sperm and the, was and still the mother, Yeah, the mother, you know, like, guys, like, Indian people, they build differently. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because I when agree. I found out, I was like, where country is this in? When I found out this factoid, and they're like, oh, it's in India. And I was like, oh, my God. And, and then the and, oldest and, woman to and, and, give birth, uh-huh. also in India. But I can't and, remember how old she was. And she now was we've got a caller coming in from India now. I, it's our 90-year-old man. Hello, how are you? How's the dick it hanging? Is, okay. Still fucking? It is, it is Patrick from India. <laughs> oh, hello, Patrick hello. Patrick from India. Patrick from India. How's it hanging, brother? 
Oh, we're just jizz talking. Okay. Oh, hey, it's Patrick Palmer, everybody. Oh, Patrick Palmer. Patrick Palmer. Oh, my God. He's been dying to get you on his show. No, I know, way, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, we gotta and he's yeah. a good guy. Uh, somebody said that you're having dread on your show in a few weeks or months. Yes. He, I reached out after seeing that he uh, uh, made a very popular uh, Twitter post, and I thought, oh, yeah. When he's on, you better let me know because I want to be on that. I think he's yeah. fat. I really like and him. And she just shot with him. That, yeah, that's why, that's why I had to have him on. And she hasn't stopped talking about it. In he's fact, she boy. got a billboard I did not get put a billboard. up on Ventura Boulevard no. that says, I bang dread. No, I did not. Go to yeah. onlyfans.com slash Christy Canyon. One, one. One, one. And, and I want to get. <laughs> See, you did do And I want to get his side of the story. Oh, my God. Oh, well, I'm gentleman. sure it'll he's be a adorable. good story. He's, yeah. a, he's a gentleman. Yeah. And he will kiss and tell. That much I'll tell you. Kiss a, a wise man, a, a, a wise prophet once told me that it's great to have a big dick, but you can't rent a car with it. You can't oh. rent a car with it? Wrong yeah, with Evan Stone told me that. Who Ooh. told you that? I'm <laughs> totally lost. Evan, that one Evan Stone. Well, you're getting, you got a little blonde streak. That one why. went over like a lead balloon in my yeah. head. Oh, oh okay. well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Patrick, how's it going? What, what do we got to talk about tonight, buddy? I just wanted to call in on the wrap-up show and just say how nice it's been to work with everybody and, oh. and feeling a part of the team and everything like that. Yes, we are so happy to have Patrick Presents on our Roku TV channel there every day to watch. Oh, yeah. how's that going? And, and he's got a wonderful show called Jizz Talking every Sunday. Yes. Yeah. Now, um, I heard um, we were speaking of people that passed away. You were very good friends with uh, the late, great Herschel Savage. Want to share a memory of Herschel with us? Yeah. Um, every time he, he went outside, I, I've got, uh, and this is back when he smoked, so he would go outside on my back patio. And I have a, a, a grassy area and then a big pine tree and then a creek right next to it. So he would be out there chanting. And then we'd go out and he'd say, is this heaven? And I'd say, no, Herschel, it's Iowa. Oh, <laughs> and so, so anyway, I always, I always think of that every time. I mean, every time we did anything outside, is this heaven? He said he no. was amazing. And Patrick came out, flew out for his memorial. Yeah. And then um, a group of us went to Cantor's Deli for brunch after. You're just, you're such a great guy, Patrick. You really are. You're one of those just nice individuals. Yeah. Right. And I, I really think that I know I talked to his son earlier in the week, and he says, look, this is a funeral service for Harvey Cohen not Herschel Savage. Yes. But I think they checked all the boxes. Um, everything was done right. I, I'm happy with the service. They honored Herschel as well as they did Harvey. Yeah. Uh, I felt. Yeah. You know what I loved when one of the Buddhist ladies, because it was at a Buddhist temple, he was into Buddhism for 20, 30, 40 years. He was like me. He was a Jewish Buddhist, also known as a <laughs> Judas. <laughs> he was, you're right, though. He was Jewish, too. But this gonna, one lady finally you. got up to speak about Harvey. And halfway through her, her speech, she said, you know what? I got to say, no one is acknowledging that he is one of the greatest adult film performers of all time and the but that was, crowd erupted yeah, like yeah. it was like everyone was fine like okay let's talk about the elephant in the room here that no one is she was great she was wonderful yeah, yeah. right it was it was just fantastic yeah and he was always fun on the set um we we did several movies together um a lot of parodies uh we did the mash parody uh, when we did The Graduate for P.T. Anderson, P.T., um, we were filming out by the pool at this beautiful house, and he was on his cell phone, and P.T.'s panning through the crowd, we're out there by the pool, and he's like, cut, and he goes, Herschel, 
This takes place in 1962. They did not have cell phones then. And he goes, listen, I'm talking to this young actress. She's really hot. She wants to do this new thing with me called content. No. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I got I to. And he goes, put the fucking phone down. Oh, it was hilarious. God. Hilarious. P.T. was at the memorial. <laughs> yeah, of he course. Was, it was great to see How everybody. did P.T. look? You know, he looked pretty damn good. He good. just had some heart issues, yeah. uh, you know, but he looked he looked fabulous. And now here's a trivia for you folks out there at home. Um, P.T. Anderson, Paul Thomas Anderson, was in one of the greatest mainstream movie musicals ever made. Ugh, what God. was the name of that movie? Dun, dun, well, his dun, his, dun, dun, dun. his name good. wasn't, yeah. but but his name wasn't Paul Thomas Anderson. No, no. it wasn't. It's PT Paul Thomas. Paul Thomas Anderson's the guy that did Boogie Nights. Yep. Totally right. Yeah. People. Oh, I'm sorry. I yeah. had a blonde moment. Yeah. Okay. But no, he was in. He was in that movie. He was in Jesus Christ Superstar. Everybody yeah. knows that. He's, he loved to talk about that. And watch, he's probably watching the show right now. He's going to call in and correct me for fucking his name up. <laughs> yeah. But it'll take the whole show now. Yeah. Let's think about this, James. Yeah. Now, yes. there is, uh, he, uh, yeah. Like, tempo, tempo. Yes. I've got a date tonight. Tempo, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now, I got to get back out to the marina. Yes. Yeah, yes. He, he's great though. He is so great, Patrick. I love you. When am I going to see you again? Uh, Chicago, Chicago. Perfect. Oh yeah, Exotica, Chicago. Perfect. That Perfect. is in April, I believe. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Can you now, tell Annie? Them, you want to come out with us? Can you tell me about it, Patrick? What is that? April? To give yeah. you a booth, we got a booth away from the stage this year. I'll think about it. That's what, that's oh, what I hope so. If we were any closer to the stage, I would have been sitting on the drummer's face. Uh, wow. It was so At cool. least you went to that one. You stood me up for <laughs> Billy Vera's concert. I was calling to go, and you called me and said you weren't feeling well. Okay, it's another episode. Okay, You're go so on. Cute. But no, tell them that we want a booth away from the stage this year. Yeah. That's hard to that do. That was a mess. It, it, that was really loud. You know, by the end of three days at these exoticas... Your voice is gone. Not only that, your fans think that poor Christy and Ginger, they've gone deaf in their old age. Like, because you can't hear. hear Do you notice that too, Crystal? Have you done the exoticas? Yes, oh, yes. a long time ago. Okay. Maybe you had... The loyal fans' booth is usually away, but their last... Or this year, we did it for Patrick at his booth, and it was like... What's your name? What? And you'd be like, the music. And thank God they couldn't hear either, you know, but it's like, it that was you crazy. Have, you know what we did? No. We got, I bring dry erase boards. Little oh. ones you can get at the 99 cent store. Another tip from James. Okay, get a little 99 cent store thing. Comes with the dry erase marker and the, uh, the, the eraser thing on it. And so if you're in a situation like that, just write it down. That's actually a really it's good idea. It's 50 bucks. That's what? a good idea. It's porn. 50 bucks. <laughs> we don't take checks. <laughs> Cash. So, no Pat PayPal. Patrick, Cash. Patrick was with us, or he went to the Miami, um, which I had so much fun with you, Patrick, and our, our, our group of, of people that we went to lunch with. We went all throughout Miami that yep. one day. I had such a great time so i was like hey patrick you know ginger's not here tara patrick and i will you be our kind of handler and you know he's thinking fuck i don't want to do this he's like well i'll, I'll do it for a little while you know and you did and then we yeah. got that other patrick and now we're totally like seeing each other you oh know. you're dating that guy jesus christ you're a <laughs> slut <laughs> you are a fucking He's Real. So cute. If you look up the word "nice slut" in Wikipedia, your picture's there. You're a nice slut, but and, that's good. And you're just figuring this out. Yeah. How long have I known you? All right, years? we got to take another call, Patrick. Thanks for calling in, my friend. I love you you bet. Happy New Year. Bye bye. Okay. Asia, come on the show anytime. We'll line it up. Of course. All right. Okay, hello, caller. Who's this? And where are you calling from on this wonderful evening before New Year's Eve? Two, two evenings. P. 
you. Oh. And they hung up. Well, fuck you, too. They well, got okay. scared. They got scared. <laughs> he thought, I have the wrong day. He said, yeah. it's new, the day before New Year's Eve. We're two days before New Year's no, Eve. No, New Year's Eve is Sunday. Today is Friday. Hello, Monday McFly. The first? Uh, hello, <laughs> McFly. Yes. <laughs> oh. There's just too much. Don't worry. That social security check will be there on Wednesday. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Not yet. (laughs) One day. This segment of Inside the Industry brought to you by AARP. And depends. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Don't say that because I'm talking to them. No, no. No. Okay, now it is time for What You Must Watch. Our wonderful friends at the mall.sexy provide a list for us of wonderful things you can watch at the mall.sexy. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, the mall has it all. Um, And check out our good friend Angela White in Angela White Unbound from Brazzers. She's so cute. She is adorable. And nice. And she's coming on the show soon. We're getting, she's coming on the show soon. Anal Room Volume 2 with Alexis Tay and Kira Noir. Transfixed, Driving Her Wild with Victoria Vox and Whitney Wright. We've had both of those gals on the show. And on... The Mall.Sexy this week, the career perspective is on Jack Napier. What oh. a super nice guy, oh, you know? He was still around. Yes, he is. Super nice guy. We inducted him in uh, 2011 into our Urban X Award Hall of Fame. Uh, some of the movies you could check out on the mall.sexy with Jack Napier is There's Something About Jack 2, There's Something About Jack 22, There's Something About Jack 27. And this a and a, l- in there. a lot yeah. of twos in there. I, numerology, n- me, yeah. Nadia over here. <laughs> um, uh, once again, check it out at the mall.sexy. And now it is time for Weird Sex Facts. Ooh. And we're going to go down the list, and you girls all reach oh, each one. Oh, I already know one. about number one, not because okay. it's a personal thing, but just, of course. just having to sure. do with, uh, with um, you know, like uh, being a sex therapist to a lot of couples and whatnot. Number one. You the, are that. Yes. I am, yes, yeah. absolutely. I, went, I actually studied psychology and all that. Uh, oh. The majority of women can't orgasm from intercourse alone. Some women can't orgasm at all, period. Yes. I met a woman who was like 55, never experienced an orgasm in her entire life. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let me ask. Surprised she was still alive. How do you handle that? Do you say get a Hitachi magic wand? Because no one's gonna escape. I always tell women, I'm like, you literally need to fuck yourself to know what you like because some women are like scared to do that. I'm like, use a vibrator. See what you see. What you're into. Yeah. Play with your clit, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, If you're more internal, then fucking be internal. But but the majority of women, I I mean, I can speaking for myself here, very clitoral. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. If you just fuck me doggy and nothing's touching my clit, it'll feel good. I will want more. My pussy will be wet. But I'm not going to come. Like, missionary or cowgirl are the two positions I could come because I'm in control where I could grind against their base. But, you know, like, sometimes on Sex Panther, guys will be like, "Get, get a dildo to fuck. And I'm like, just sticking something in my hole won't get me off. Yeah. So I'm like... I'm going to up you one, and I plug in the Hitachi Magic one in three minutes. I've had three yeah, orgasms. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm coming with you just talking about it. Oh and the, and the Hitachi Magic one is every girl's best friend. I'm just saying. I love, so I love that magic wand. Okay, here love we go. Me. Going on to sex fact number two. And you know she's serious when she puts the glasses on. <laughs> and yeah. pushes them up. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> underwhelming orgasms can be caused by weak muscles. Ooh. I don't think I've ever had an... The only an time underwhelming. I, the only time that I've ever had one that hasn't been well is when you try and edge your pussy. Oh, yeah. Oh, And then oh. you fuck up the timing yeah. and you get this half mm. orgasm. Have you done that, you girls? Oh, like, yeah. Whether it's edging myself or someone else edging me, yeah. Cody, <clears throat> when someone edges you or you're Shout edging out. yourself and then you're like, okay, I'm ready to give it to you now. And then, like, you, like, move your leg for, like, a second... 
to like readjust and, and then you fuck up your own yep. orgasm. And I'm like, oh, why did I do that? I just fucked myself. And, and then, then it's hard to get it back because you spend so much time and energy trying to edge that orgasm. Yeah. That's right. the only time I've had an, un, you know, a, not a good one. Yeah. Is when I've just messed yeah. up with the trying to. Yeah. Hold on. Before we go to the next word, sex fact, we have another caller. Hello, caller. Who's this? And where are you calling from on our special year end wrap up show? Yeah. This is Jason. Jason, hello. Hi. Is this the same Jason who called earlier? Yes. I just I just wanted to wish everybody a happy New Year's. And well, I just love watching the, and the podcast. And sherry. And happy nipping to the sherry. <laughs> <laughs> happy New Year again. And Annie Cruz just did the little um, heart the little thing heart. for you on the video. If you're watching the video, Jason. I am. I, I just wanted to call in and wish everyone a happy New Year. Like you did the last hour. That's very sweet. That's very nice of you, Jason. We appreciate you yeah. very much. Thinking Thank of you. And I, and I just want to say one more thing before I get off here. I hope all you beautiful women come to Exotic in New Jersey next year. We've been every year for 15 years. I don't think he's a fan of mine. He is now. <laughs> Especially after how you were talking about Ser orgasming. Seriously, the only one I missed yeah. from day one was COVID. Obviously, they didn't have it. But otherwise, I've been to 14. Right. Yeah. Um, they've had 14, but it's been 15 years. True, that. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jason. Fact. We got to get back to Weird year. Sex Fact. Happy New Year. Call us back in an hour. All right. Happy New Year. Bye, James. Okay. Bye. Call back in an hour. We won't be on, but call anyways. Well, all yeah. right, let's back to work sex facts. Yes, thank <laughs> you. Number three is people in their 20s have sex more than 80 times per year, declining to 60 times per year by age 45 and 20 times per year by age 65. Each year after the peak of sexu sexual frequency at 25, sexual frequency declines to 3.2%. Wow. Hmm. Okay, that Doesn't make sense. me very happy about the future. <laughs> you gotta go to India, remember? Yeah, I gotta go to India. All yeah. guys in their 90s are having babies. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. But, really? uh, but guys, you know, like sometimes, like, decrease uh, quantity, you can increase quality. So, like, it's That's not necessarily true. like a bad thing. Like, if you do not fuck to any different chicks per day, it doesn't mean, like, you know, like, you know, you yeah. get worse. That's it's true. maybe you finally know what the fuck you want. Exactly. Okay. But exactly. I, I, I got a thought, girls. I got a thought. Away. You're an older person, and you're in your 90s, and you have sex, and you have a baby. Does the kid come out a teenager? <gasps> Probably, Just because, yes. I mean, you're older? No. Well, you know, I think they already have to have, like, social security and some Did the audience again. laugh at that? Could okay, you thank you. That yeah. was, that, that's just you. <laughs> how do you enjoy a kid at 90 something? Can you imagine having that big of an age gap between you and your child, though? No. 90 years? You like, could actually be like the great, great, great grandpa. Yeah. Very strange. Ooh. And you're showing up like Yoda well, at I mean, his high school Well, I mean, look at Al Pacino and Robert De Niro yeah. pushing out babies when they're fucking in their 70s, dude. I know. Tony Randall from The Odd Couple yeah. had a kid in his 80s. Woo. And that was a surprise Makes too because wonder, he was Dad, gay. That still so, works. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, the, little too. No, that's kidding. so strange. I can't imagine being that old having a toddler. Yeah. All right, more sex facts. All righty. Uh, Go ahead. Nearly 10% of all our dreams include sex. Oh. Well, why it's only 10? <laughs> Have you ever. I'm dreaming of those cats right now. I've never orgasmed in my dream. I, I did. wake up on the edge of an orgasm. You touch your clit and, and you you're bah. Oh, no, man. But I've never you touch your actually, clit in your sleep? No, like when you wake up from a sex dream, uh. you're like, Fuck Yeah, it's just, you, you, you just need you to like think a little bit like longer yeah, for a second. I had a, a wet dream dress. once. I had a wet dream once. It's only happened once? one time. Yeah, like, well, where I legitimately felt like, so I, I was dreaming that I was fucking this chick. We we're both eating each other out, making, and she made me come in my dream. And I woke up in the middle of the night after having this dream, and my pussy was trembling, and I was wet. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you actually came oh, in I sleep. came in my sleep. I've never I came, I've never, that, that was the only time that ever, this was years ago. It was the only time that ever, I mean, I'm sure it, it's happened since then, but like the only time I woke up yeah. from a sex dream where I remembered my dream, and then my pussy was, you know when you come clitorally and your yes. pussy's, but like, I, I don't know if I was touching myself in my sleep or what, but I just remember waking up, and I was like, my pussy's wet. What the fuck? And you knew you came. I and just I just like, came listening. I had that feeling that, like, I had just came. So I, I, I came in my dream. I woke up, and I was like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> oh my god! Yeah. And then did you fall back asleep like a log? Oh yeah, it was, it was like I had that cum drunk yeah. cum high, and I was like, "Well, I guess I'll go back to sleep and see if I can dream this chick up again." Because it was a chick that I didn't know. It was like a Ooh. chick conjured up in my conjured up in my dreams. An AI. It wasn't someone that and I then, knew. And then did you kind of think about her the whole next day? Like, where yeah, did she meet her. I've had dreams about guys like that, and you wake up and you're like. Where's my soulmate? And then, like, ten years later, you're, like, on a train somewhere in Europe. And you're like, where do I know this person from? (gasps) Oh, my God. I fucked you in my dreams, like, ten years ago, dude. You know? Wow. And then they're like, was that that you? I need an adult. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, what celebrity would you want to have sex with? Crystal. You know, the only one, like, always, it was Jason Statham. Like, you know, like, I will fuck this dude. Who? Who? Jason Statham. Like guy, I'm like Jason Statham. Statham, Statham, Statham. 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 What's he in? I uh, he's like you know like this like you know everything. All, always killer like you know like it's adrenaline movie like Fast and Furious like he was playing uh, the cop. Yeah, I never saw. He that. like you know like he's the one who do not talk to you. He just like come fuck you and, like with this like animal look. <laughs> did, you, did you ever see the Expendables? He's no. in the Expendables I with didn't. with Sly and everybody. No, didn't see okay. that one. Okay, all right. Who? Uh, what one. celebrity uh, haven't you fucked yet that you want to fuck? Gina <laughs> <laughs> Gershon. Yes. Oh, oh I was gonna, good I, I one. I actually partied with her once. No, she was the coolest chick ever, dude. She's hot. She was battling a cold and was just I'm drinking tequila because it's gonna make me feel better. And like all these people, we were at Chateau Marmont, so like right. all. Yeah. I remember this was around the time when Lindsay Lohan was a hot mess. She walks in. Yeah. Gina's like, oh, real party's about to get started now. And um, I regret not getting her phone number that night. Why didn't you? Because you're good at that. Because I'm. I don't like to be like. You know, I, I am good at that. You're right. You thank you. I, I really am. Yeah. But okay, he's agreeing with me. But like I don't know, I got like we. She's like, walk me to my car. I was like, okay. So she I was she had her, you she had her, her car was in valet. So we walked to her car, and I'm like, this is now the opportunity to be like, so Gina, you know, I took a picture with her. But like, I, I was like, this is the moment for me to be like, you know, you're really cool. We should keep in yeah. touch. But I just like. Uh, okay, well, have a nice night. <laughs> I've known Annie Cruz for 20 years. I've Chicken. never known Annie to Chicken. choke. Yeah. She may choke out at the cogs real big, but I've never known yeah. Annie to choke on, like, yeah. picking up someone. Yeah. Yeah. I was expecting we fucked in the valet booth. It yeah. was amazing. But, but, no, I think she is so fucking sexy, and you don't hear about her that much anymore. No, you she don't. She was always my crush, though. She was I very... Think, she I was, think we need to have her on the show next month. Get her. Find you her. Should. Tell her Annie Cruz wants her. We'll yeah. Get her. No problem. It's one phone call. She's okay. fantastic. Okay. Um, the celebrity that I would want to do is Anna Taylor-Joy. Oh, Okay. Gorgeous. Anya. An- isn't it Anya? 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 I'm sorry. I'm Jewish. I have an accent. <laughs> okay. And then Anna de Armas. Oh, Anna de Armas. Her she also. Hot. Ooh, yeah. Oh, she hot. You got so time. I got four Anna girls. Oh, hot. yeah. yeah they're both Latinas. They're very, mm-hmm. very delicious. Mm-hmm. You are so cute. Have you Did met you them? Because you um, run the picket lines every day. Yeah, those are two that I didn't meet, but I did run into a couple of others. Um, and I'm not going to name names. Did you bang them? Um, I'm not going to say it's coming out in my book. You'll never do blow in this town again on Double Day. It'll be coming out very soon. <laughs> Wonderful Christmas stopper. Yes. What is this book? What is that out? look on your face? Not like, that I'm just thinking like about this book. Somebody just scat on you no. or something. Ew, yeah. Uh, ew, okay. I don't what like is this? Sorry. What is your <laughs> besides Gina Gershon so, and Lady yes, Armas? Yeah. Oh, Angelina Jolie, man. I love oh, her. Angelina still. Jolie. Yeah, still. still. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, maybe if we can go get a time machine. Go back to the days of Gia. Oh, well. Or and like one. even hack. What? What was that movie? Uh, the first movie I saw her in. Oh, God, with Winona Ryder. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Girl Interrupted. Girl Interrupted, yes. yeah. Or oh, even, and Brittany or, Murphy or was in wanted, that. The late great Brittany um, Murphy. Yeah. Um, she was stunned. I remember I was yeah. with my bodyguard. It was like we were at the Rialto Spearmint Rhino. We had like the noon show, and then we had five hours. We're like, let's go to the. And mall, Angelina go Jolie see the came movie. to your strip club? No, we went to go see the movie, and my bodyguard and I were like, who is this? Like, she was so captivating, she took over. Like, no one really cared about her. Well, there's just something about her that just... Ex- I mean, I know she's, you know, she's a family woman now, and she's doing all of her, you know, philanthropy and all that kind of stuff, and um, and she's kind of, like, really not really in the limelight anymore like no. she once was, but, you know, when she was, even when she was with Brad, you know, even before they broke up and all that, she just exudes this, like, sexual prowess Completely. that you're like, you know she's a fucking freak. She was open about dating women. She, yeah. That Asian woman that she found, I'm like, oh, she likes Asian girls? 
<laughs> Hi. <laughs> you know? Um, I've met but, uh, her. I've hung out with her. She is she is all that and and a bag of chips. Yeah, and she no, really she's is. She's very, she's very, she's got super, that, she's very, and you know? super down to earth. Yeah, but speaking like a real oh, person. For sure. I, 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 yeah. lived, I lived with a Hollywood producer once, and she she knew Angelina and Brad before they yeah. had split. And she said similar things, like very, very down to earth people. Super down to earth um, and talks to everybody. Yeah. Uh, no bullshit. No. Uh, no airs. And that's one advice I want to give to young. Um, performers in the adult industry and in mainstream don't put on airs you don't, even people that are legends don't put on those kind of airs i see these young girls that just act like their shit don't stink and that's just a really bad president to start setting for yourself because you're going to lose fans you're going to lose work because production companies talk and the guys that shoot these things direct these things they all talk so you your number one thing you got to remember is have a good professional attitude if you want to get started and be a success whether it's in mainstream or adult or even working as a barista at, at starbucks for minimum wage got to have a good professional attitude i think all four of us will agree on that oh, right completely last year when ginger and i were doing avn for you the first day you walk in, oh, well, every day, you have to go through security. They wand you. They check your bags. So I go through. Anal probe. Our hand, no, they yeah. can't get that. <laughs> so we go through. I go through. Dave, the handler, goes through. And then Ginger re- reaches down to get her purse. And this young 20-year-old just poof, goes right in front of her. I'm like, excuse me, miss. Ginger's next. And even the lady with the wand said, yeah, you got to wait your turn. And she was like, oh. And goes and I said, I have a new name for some of them. They're content creators. They're ah! content creators. She was a content creator. Like, to, <laughs> to you. respect your legends. But, like, she was just, you know, who we were. But I thought, who does that? Who just walks in front of somebody? Cunts do. Content creators. Yeah. I think we should make a t shirt of that. What do you think, Crystal? <laughs> Time Con- to content. Content for a, for Are those you a content or a content Tent. creator? Totally I know. dare you. I will get those printed up if you'll wear it at AVN and walk Ginger around. Ginger and I would wear them absolutely. Yeah, yeah. What's our next weird sex fact? Oh, sure. Oh, thank oh. you, yeah. Uh, women get erections too. The clitoris is made up of the same spongy erectile tissue as the penis, which expands and, and gorgeous with blood when mm. aroused. Oh, mine gets huge if I come like three times. It's supposed to. And Gorgeous hard. with blood? It's hard. You're, you're and is hard. this a porn and scene gorgeous. or a Wes Craven's movie? <laughs> it's it's a sex fact. It's right here in black and white. And red, because and it's good. What's the next one? Okay, the next one is, uh, oh, want an orgasm? Yes. Question mark. Leave your socks on. No one is sure exactly why this works, but one theory is that in order to orgasm, you need to be totally relaxed and anxiety-free. And cold feet can interfere with the ability to really get into sex, especially for women. Okay. In Los Angeles and Las Vegas, it's about 100 degrees 98% of the year. I have hardly ever have cold but some feet. Pe- but some people have an anemia when, like, your yeah. feet and That's arms, true. like, yeah, like, they're cold. And so, and in that case, yes, yeah, certain people need to feel this warm to kind of keep, like, you know, like, you know, yeah. like, kind of, like, like stressors. <laughs> Interesting about the uh, leaving your socks on. I, yeah, I don't. Because usually, like, you know, if by etiquette, it's opposite. You have to take them off. <laughs> That's why Ed Powers always had his black Especially socks on. for women. The member Ed oh, Powers my God. Women. Ed Powers. Uh, it, it, for the fanboys and fangirls out there, he used to do a thing called the Dirty Debutante series. And it was huge. It was one of the most popular releases that came out. And He's he had the glasses man. on. And he wore black. He fucked some of the the girls that turned out to be some of the biggest stars and later on. It was on. always like on a couch. Yeah. And he was the epitome of a dirty old man. man. He was a dirty old man. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. He did you, didn't he? Shut up. <laughs> did you fuck up? I, I don't filmed. remember. <laughs> yes, you did. She's taking I the don't fit. remember. You did. I think along. probably when I was 19, when I first got in the business, probably. Most yeah. Likely. I never fucked him. The oldest guy fucked I him think, before. I think. I don't remember. I honestly can't Do remember. Do you remember black socks on, on, on an old I'm, Jewish I, guy? Honestly, I probably did. Yeah. yeah. seen with him. Because I remember when I first got, got in the business, I remember doing all those. I, I'm. Oh, my God. Yeah. I probably did. I never fucked him. I remember when I was 18, I fucked uh, in for an 18 year old Arbola, if anyone remembers that. Oh, name. Oh, Jesus. Remember? remember, and he must have been 40, but like it was kind of like, well, I don't fuck it. Because you never knew who you were going to fuck. You just show up. And, and he looked like Gandalf from The Lord of the Rings. He did. <laughs> yes. <I laughs> love it. Who else knows? Patrick, if you're watching, you knew. He's you holding out the cane like Charlton Heston in The Ten Commandments. <laughs> I'm going to part the legs. Oh, I like. I I like weird, weird sex talk number seven. This one's for okay. you, Cody. Okay, okay. You ready? Ooh. Okay. A big penis won't stretch out or ruin a vagina. A weirdly popular myth circulating on the internet these days is that having too much sex or having sex with a large partner or toy can stretch out a woman's vagina and or labia, resulting in ugly roast beef flaps. Roast beef <laughs> flaps. And that's false. The vaginal canal is a muscle and does not permanently stretch from having accommodated a large penis or toy. The vagina is incredibly resilient and bounces back quickly. Sure. Okay, Ew. we've got three more left uh, wait, here. I don't uh, number it. eight. Can okay. Annie show us? No. <laughs> oh, get... actually. After uh, we get off I'll the air. I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you later. Okay. Uh, when it comes to pleasure, penis girth is more important than length. I agree. Also for you, Cody. Many, many men like to compare the length of their penises, but the only people who really care about that number are other men which means that girth or width is a more important aspect of the penis for women on average. Aha. Uh -huh. I would rather have girth over length any day. Yeah. And they actually have surgeries now where the men are getting They're some get, girth. Have you seen that? Where guys yeah. are having surgery on their penises? No. To like, yeah. They like inject something into the dick. It, it, it's and like a it Botox. Looks, it looks weird. It, lo it looks kind of mushroomy and, and like... It's, it's gross. Ew. I have and and, that and it takes you three to four months to recover from that stuff. What about the penis Seriously. pump? Didn't that give you girth? Remember it actually no. fucked up your penis, though. Yeah. It was a the penis pump was a temporary thing. Yeah. It's right. like you do it in the moment, and you're like, ah, oh, my dick's bigger, but then... Oops, and yeah, and, and then and it. then in twenty total seconds, it's, it's yeah, it's a total it's gimmick thing. Total gimmick. But then all the guys thing. out there, hefty, hefty, like, hefty, wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. They see, wimpy. They see a commercial for it. I'm gonna fucking get that penis pump, right. and then yeah. Okay. yeah. I, remember, I remember once on on radio, Ginger put it on her pussy and on her clit and popped. Yep. Yep. Her clit was huge. Oh, and then it went right back down. Okay, the only thing. Uh, fancy condoms turn on is your credit card. Remember the rib for her pleasure and other similar ad campaigns. They are more marketing than sexual magic. So the condoms with all the little bumps, ticklers, and ridges don't bother. You know what? I'm going to disagree. I like really? texture in my pussy walls. Really? I like, I'm like opposite. Like, I'm like, it's hard sometimes. D I, I I don't use condoms. I mean, like when you talk about condoms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, no. have you seen have you seen guys that have like marbles in their dicks? No. See that, marbles that in their yeah. dicks. Yeah. Yes. Where it's like yeah. it's like a you know what I'm talking about like a body modification where you it's like a body mod thing that you can. You, do. Usually, it's like kind of prison style, like in my country. I, oh, Cody actually went <laughs> prison outside. style. Cody got his in prison. I, no. I, I took it out. He took it out though because he didn't need it. I was you like, your dick's so big. In prison. Yeah. It's okay, a prison stuff. What sexy. the fuck? Oh, wait till he tells you the story. Not the ball thing. I kind of wonder why. <laughs> I, I think that's I'll fucking tell you, okay, it, not work. it doesn't. No. You know, it's okay, not. It doesn't scared, work for everyone. Small, yeah. It yeah. depends, like, how you put. For someone, like, you know, it's can, like, you know, rotate around. For someone, like, they stick it, like, in one spot. And, like, you know, it depends on the woman, for example. Like, you know, right. for you, it will be good because it's your spot here. And for me, it will be, like, right. hyper. And right. for someone, like, you know, like, when, like, you know, for example, a dick is too big or something, you know, it can, like, push back yeah. and, like, hurt. Okay, so. that, see, I'm thinking of this, I have this glass dildo. I love glass toys. I have glass toys that have ribbed, you would like it. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I have one that's got, like, little bumps, like those, remember those little candies that you'd peel off? I forget what they were called, peps or peeps or something. Something like that, it, yeah. And, and it has, like, that kind of a texture on it. Yeah. And I love feeling that, that like, little hardness kind of, I like ribbed stuff. I do. Whenever I, like, do dick ratings of cops for OnlyFans, 
I love those cocks with the veins. And I love the oh, texture. Oh, veiny cock. Actually, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's sexy. Yeah, it's really sexy. <laughs> and are you going to yeah. tell us what Cody's veinage is like? <laughs> oh. What? It's a very beautiful cock. Okay, so. okay. Well, we yeah. know it's big. We know it's Well, are we big. doing a commercial for his penis now? <laughs> it's, dude, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you right now, okay? It's a Christine, time of the okay. year, like, you know, when we can sell everything. I, I was active in the industry for over 13 years. Yes. And then, uh, as I've seen, seen and right. fucked a lot of, there was guys in porn where I was like, I would tell the director, I'm not taking him in vaginally. Like, I can only do anal with, with this guy because they're too big. And I remember when I met Cody for the first time, I almost was all like, you're going nowhere near my pussy. That thing is so fucking thick, dude. Like, it's not just long. It's long and thick. That thing is huge. He's six foot six. He is more than proportioned to his fucking height, dude. I, like, I remember when he whipped that shit out, I was like, oh, my God, that thing is huge, but it's so pretty. <laughs> and, and how long did it take to get it in your pussy? Um, uh, yeah, uh... Okay, maybe you can speak on behalf of my vagina. I'm like, uh, it's, 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 it, did you get balls deep the first time? No. No, but I get it. I get. I just did a scene yeah. with dread. That thing scared the fuck out of me. And I, I mean, I've been with some of the greats, the Peter Northcocks or whatever. That was a fucking monster that fell out of his pants. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Where do I go with that? Yeah. I thought I had seen big cogs, been with big cogs. That thing was huge. Damn. But beautiful. But it's beautiful, right? Yeah. That's the thing with his. I'm like, see, I've seen some big dicks. I mean, like, obviously not as big as his, but I've, I've seen big dicks where I'm like, it's so fucking ugly looking. You know, it looks funny. Right, right, or, right. or it's not like, not a consistent shape. It's like, squish. It's, it's yeah. either big at the base or big yeah. at the top. I'm like, why is it or big the at the middle. head? Yeah, or like in the middle. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? I totally where I'm like, it <laughs> just looks weird. His is just, it's like everything from like the color to the the fucking uh the shape to the just it's just gorgeous but like legit there have been times where i'm like i might have to like just fuck my ass because i cannot oh darn <laughs> you only get her ass you're so cute you guys are adorable okay last sex back <laughs> yes wants to do better at work have more sex at home Having sex might get you to your next promotion. And no, we are not talking about sleeping with your boss. It turns out that having a happily sex life was linked with improved job satisfaction yeah. and greater engagement at work, both of which can help advance your career, according to study done by Oregon State University. So, fuck better, work greater. Wonder. And if you want, fuck wow. your boss. I'm sure. okay with that. I fucked a few there you go. one day. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a great career. <laughs> Are you talking about civilian job? Yeah, I just wanted to ask. <laughs> What type of work? I never, oh. fucked, I never fucked my boss at, the, at my at my civilian job, but I did fuck two of the managers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! At the same time. At the same time. Did they know? Yeah, because what happened? So what happened was, um, we we're closing up shop. And then, like, oh, do you need to ride home? Because I had, like, Uber to work instead of driving. And, uh, no, actually, I drove. I, it was one of those things where we were kind of flirting with each other. And then I was like, it takes two of you guys to take me home? Yeah, okay, cool. And then they both followed me in their cars. And then next thing I know, I'm inviting both of them in. And then we broke my bed. <gasps> oh, my God, I love it. Both no, of them. Did, did you can... me. And then we, <laughs> we broke my bed. <laughs> Oh my god! I've only Look at it in the camera and do that evil, sexy laugh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, should I do birthdays? <laughs> yes, let's do okay, birthdays. Okay, start birthdays starting on Monday, going through the end of the year, which I just found out is Sunday. Yes. Okay. Um, names. Okay, Tia Bella. I love Tia Bella. Happy Me birthday, too. baby. Priya Rai. Priya Rai, we love Tia. you, Priya. Joanna Angel. We love sweet Joanna Angel. Angel eyes. Do you guys? Know yeah. Angel? Yes. Yeah, the big chichis. Yes, big yes. Little titties, man. Uh, Sarah Jesse. She's got big love. Sheila uh, and big ones. Yeah. She, uh, Shayla Laveau. From She's the got 90s. big tits. Uh, I love Francesca Lay. She's got big tits. Oh my God. Yeah. Most girls do. Buddy Joe Tyler. She's got big tits. Huge tits. Okay. We Alexis have... Amore. Alexis. Big oh, I love tits. her. Also big titties. <laughs> yes. Now, I'm, you're, I'll be hard pressed if you say that this next one has big titties. Who? Nacho Vidal. He has He's big got titty. big titties. <laughs> no, big balls. <laughs> big man big titties. Balls. Now, I don't know if you guys will remember, you might, this next girl. Angela Barron. Does anybody, German girl. Do you remember Angela Barron from the late 80s, early 90s? Big titties. Big titties. Ditter. Gorgeous, big, 
titted blonde. Another one who I love, Cinnamon Love. Oh, Cinnamon. Big tits, love, her. Love, her. love her. Every so often on Twitter, she used to come on Playboy Radio. She mm -hmm. had a She's out in New York now, no, I think. Yes, she's and she's York. talking about making a comeback yeah, in the porn. Yeah, I mean, I thought she was, I think she's on OnlyFans now. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She was beautiful. Holly Still Holston. Is. Big tits. Um, Johnny Sins. Big, big tits. Big, big balls. <laughs> and big balls. And Sheridell. Those were Sheridell, big, big tits. tits. Those were the yeah. names that I pulled. They're big tit birthdays this month in December. And big balls. And Nacho big Bell. balls. I'd like to hear you, James, tell Nacho to his face. Yeah, you got big tits. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, what, you, what, what, what are the sound effects and everything in there? Because he would cow you. He would cold cock you if you said, it's, yeah, Nasha, you got big titties. He's like... Yeah, James, never talk about What are we, on Adult people. Swim or something? You come with your own cartoon effects and... <laughs> well, if I can't show my big titties, i got to get creative. You create your reality. Oh, my God, you are so funny. I suck it. A you sandwich. are a badass. And? You can do it! Me. Only you would have one of those. Of course. A lot, a lot of great motivational speech was for today. These, yeah. are, these are really great when you're this masturbating, you too. Oh, yeah. That's adorable. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that wonderful? Yeah, Lucky really Star cute. got this for me oh, for the so holidays. She is adorable. So she said, it's something you can put your nuts in. <laughs> so I was like, oh okay. God. And then plop. That's for the main course. That's nuts. right. Go in there and the main course there. That's right. And with a little peach and mango sauce on the side. <laughs> Have to flavor it with some caramelized onion jam. Yes. Um, have you guys ever done that food fucking fetish thing? Splashing. It's called splashing. It's called splashing? Yes. So I, the rumor is it's called splashing? Which you okay. also can't do on OnlyFans. I was, gonna, I was just going to say, that's not allowed on OnlyFans. Nope. No. no food play But you can do that on loyal fans? Can you even, like, do... You can't use anything other than toys on OnlyFans, right? You can't... Correct, and they have to be sex toys. I once put a makeup brush up my ass... And they flagged it. It has to be a true blue sex toy. So even if it's a sex toy in the shape of something, right? Is, yeah. that, is that teetering? Like, yeah, I wouldn't even go. Do you there. know how you go to the sex shop? They have some weird ass like sex toys. Like a banana that vibrates. Yeah, like a like a yeah. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do a it. A banana Damn, yeah, that vibrates. Really Remember when, when OnlyFans almost almost shut almost. us out? What? Shut out fucking porn. Remember that? Yes. It was during Tell the of everybody. cancel culture. Yeah. Yeah. They did, and then do you remember that, Crystal? No. Okay. It had to be like 2020. <laughs> yeah, it was around the pandemic. Yeah. It was like around, I remember it was around the pandemic because everybody was freaking out. Wow. Because they're like, this is my main source of income during the pandemic. Right. What the fuck? And I remember they had issued a statement and everything saying, oh, we're probably starting December or something or whatever. They like, put like a date on it. Weeks. They had put a date on it. Yep. And then they were like, we're going to remove all adult content. Yet. And then something happened where they ended up not doing it. And they it probably ooh. talked to their accountant. They also probably realized, hmm, this might be financially a mistake right. if we do that. <laughs> yeah. Let's Was see. this so, an okay. accountant provider? An accountant. I mean, what idiot would have Or a that content. Would, uh, no, that would have been a content move to pull us. But, yeah. Um, no, they probably talked to their accountant, and their accountant was like, what the fuck? You just made $5 billion. Yeah. And you're probably going to drop to $5,000. Well, and, and also, not to mention, OnlyFans was created by people for the porn industry. Exactly. You know what I mean? That then it now hot. all they so want is social media yeah, influencers like, oh, on there content now. Content creators in the mainstream world, and then like then it became this. It just blew up to where they're like, oh, maybe we should tone it down with the pornography, and it's like it was created by pornography. And that's what they're trying to do. Maybe Bill Pox rest in peace, by the way. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Wasn't he? He was unbelievable. He was mm -hmm. great. He was part. Yes, he, was he, was. One of, he was part of behind OnlyFans. Yeah. Like Did he get yep. anything in his estate when he passed? No. 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 I no. went to his funeral and everything. Alexis Mori was there. Yeah. Yeah. was there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, I, if, if I recall correctly, I don't want to like misquote, but I, if I recall correctly, I don't think anything was like situated with it. because you know I don't think he was. Ex there, it was like unexpected. His death was unexpected. So. Um, but they also, they didn't want to share the buck on this stuff. And, and it's like, when the, when the smoke clears and OnlyFans will disappear and go away, at least for the adult performers, all this shit that's been brushed under the rug 
will all come to the surface and we'll find out about all of this stuff and how people are being ripped off and uh, how maybe performers are putting stuff on that social media platform and they're ending up on tube sites and they haven't got a goddamn right to do yeah, because I mean, you notice you, that watermark as soon as you put a post on there. Have you ever dealt with that where people are stealing your content from OnlyFans and reposting it elsewhere like on yep, the tube sites and stuff? Yep. I haven't noticed. Yep. Okay. Yep. I, I'll, I'll look into that. I keep. Did you notice that some? girl Reba? You know Reba uh, McIntyre. Oh, good lord! <laughs> no, Reba from Takedown Piracy. Oh, oh! I thought you were talking about the country singer no, actress. Country yeah. singer. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm keeping the joke. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. For the show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we got to wrap up stuff here. This really uh, turned into a two-hour show instead yes. of an hour and a half. But it's Sorry, so I was but late. It's okay. No, no, <laughs> no. So much fun, we guys. had so much fun, and you guys watching and listening to us all over the world, I think you've enjoyed hanging out with us. And I think we have some New Year's Eve stuff there. Can you guys bring that over for everybody? Yeah, yeah, we have the decorations. Oh, my God. And then uh, where's the little decorations, too? We have the decorations. Now, this is a tradition that started in England, in the U.K., and they're called holiday crackers. Now, we did these on New Year's Eve, but we're also going to do these tonight at the party. And I think we got streamers and stuff for the girls, yeah? And, girl, uh, there's the little streamers that say Happy New Year. They're right there. Cody, you want to help them with that? And then, girls, each one of you gets a special uh, present from inside the industry. You're all um, getting a free movie pass for Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. Oh, you sweetheart. Yeah. All right. Holiday cracker, holiday cracker, holiday cracker, holiday cracker. All right. Now, this is her tradition. What does it say here? It started in Victorian times, okay? And these are the little traditions at the holidays here. Thank you. And and we got one for Crystal Rush also. Okay, so we'll save that in. First, let's do the cracker. You grab either end of this. And then what's inside is a little hat and some jokes and a little toy. One, two, three. Isn't that cool? That is very cool. I got a harmonica. Look at, oh, I got fentanyl. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, is this mine or yours? Or is that, wait, this is mine. Okay. No. What is now, this? Now, what is this? I have a harmonica and then something else. Okay. Wait, so is this a hat? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is what they wear in the UK. So our fans that are watching the UK, you'll write me and tell us if we're doing this the right way or not. And I'm sure we are. I don't know. I have a big nose. I don't know if Me too. It flew out here. Here we go. Ready? And we put the little traditional oh, hat on. I am the queen. Yes, there you go. You got to put your little holiday hat on. Hold on, I can't get mine open. Ah. Okay. Here we go. And then you get okay. a little toy in there. What did you get? I have no fucking idea. Find out. It's a little clip plug. Happy isn't it? New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. I okay. got. Look at this. It's a little jigsaw puzzle. How to play oh. bowl them down. Oh my God. It's like. It's, it's a little bowling it's pin. It's a little thing. bowling pin. So let's tighten oh, it. That's my God. Like little things. Okay. All right. No, I okay. got a harmonica. Oh. Unfortunately, oh, that. It's little. Yeah, it's, it's a little it's one, but. Girls, come on, scoot in here close. Let's get a picture. Okay, everybody get wait, in. Wait. Okay. okay, ready? One, two, three. Yay. Now. Jokes. Time. Yes, yeah, t- tell a joke. Everybody gets to tell a joke off their thing. Why are Christmas trees bad at knitting? I don't know why. Because they're, they're needling. They're into needle pointing. Because they always drop their needles. Oh, I knew oh. needles had to be in it. What do frogs wear on their free on their feet? Pads. Open toed sandals. That is just <laughs> that was a bad one. That's really bad. Okay, let's see. What do you call a line of men waiting for a haircut? A gangbang. Sorry. A bukkake. <laughs> Cream Close. pie. You're closer. A barbecue. 
a barb. Like okay, a cue, like a line. Hello, a I get cue. it. Yeah, that, like, that, yeah, it yeah, these are cute. these jokes are from the UK. I'm sorry. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? Uh, I don't know. It's bad. Excuse me, a I stick. A stick. What? <laughs> I have to go. I have to have waiting for me downstairs. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. Ready? ready? One, One, two, two three. three. Yay! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy from myself, James Bartolet, Annie Cruz, Christy Canyon, Crystal Rush. Good night and good sex. Happy Woo! New Year! Bye, everybody. See you next year. Ooh, mine's smoky. Ooh. I know. Oh, I.